we're professionals. Oh, Everyone halfway just live. Stop talking. We're halfway through that sentence. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. Um, Why Claude should not be in charge? Yeah, I don't like um, this. <laughs> hurtful. Hi guys. Welcome to Save by the Dice. Oh, this is in rough voice, so I'm not used to what to say. Um, welcome to the Broken World, episode 43, Over the River. Uh, I'm trying to do my best Rob impression. A oh, nervous laughter. All right. Hey, um, Barnaby. Who are you? <laughs> oh, wait, no, we have Barnaby, our ranger bugbear. Hey. Does he still have brackash sticking out of his chest, Jeff? Yeah, but, like, don't... It's a very personal thing. He's, a uh, He's Barnaby. <laughs> I'm Claude playing Barnaby the Bugbear Ranger, who's recently killed his animal companion, Brakesh the Warg, yeah, and it was upsetting. And he's just chilling, trying to take down the Legion of Salt and murder loads of animals and fiends as he goes with his best mate, Lyndon. We have oh, Lyndon, the Elven <laughs> Druid. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, I'm Theo playing... Lyndon, do not have a dog head sticking out of my chest. Um, I did almost die last time, several times, which is pretty much the usual for Lyndon. So maybe the goal for this time will be not almost die. Uh, it's really a session of Lyndon, doesn't it? <laughs> and then we have Pelinestra Vryn, the drow oh, sorcerer bard. I think she might be a cleric. Yeah, she, maybe she's a cleric. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Stephnet. I'm playing Pell. And this go around, we're just gonna try to make it to a place and not get eaten and chewed up. And then we have Erwin, the dragonborn paladin of Tiamat. <laughs> you may have peed off. <laughs> oh my god, Close. that would be a big twist, but no. Have you changed the Earth Breaker? <laughs> I, the day is still young, but I mean, like, <laughs> spent last, most of the last session asleep, and I lost my new squishy friend, so I already suffered the greatest tragedy of my life. And oh, we've had it for hard work for now. And then we have me, Jasper, who plays Rin, the Blood Hunter, ASMR. He's cool and great. And then we have our great DM, Joof. I am not great, but I am the DM. I, I think you're a DM. Our lack of confidence, DM, Jeff. Who, who would like to explain last week's shit show? We almost got <laughs> eaten by a house! <laughs> you did. I feel like more happened. Oh, yeah. What happened before um, that? Oh, I can, I remember. <laughs> um, we had the hostages. We found out one of Rin's good friends, who is a Cambian named Avaricious Quid, was there. This guy has a hostage. Not very happy about that. Kind of bitter. We also found out, um, Pernicious Quid? Indeed. That Perny? Yep. Was also there, and he shot at Melinda, but missed. Um, and so we left, we got the, we got out of Daggerford, and we just started heading towards Burdusk, and then Rin heard voices in her head at night, which really should, she shouldn't be surprised about anymore. <laughs> so she woke up her best buddy, Lyndon, and we ran down to this house and that had a red dragon on it, and we were like, oh, let's go inside. And the floor broke open, and we're like, oh, gold, cool, and we met our squid friend, Kel, who's not here right now. Um, and then as, when we tried to leave, the house tried to eat um, Lyndon and Kel, and then Barnaby helped save the day by feeding the house innocent people. Whoa. I mean, yeah, save the day. Fair enough. Did I miss anything? No, that is what happened. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And um, you guys are traveling to Burdusk. Burdusk! Where all the money is. I feel bad Indeed. about last session about lying to you guys. I would have just said, yeah, no. I mean, don't ask me about it, because I'll have to tell you the truth, and the truth is I Hey, Barnaby, I, did I you kill innocent Barnaby. people? Yes, don't ask about it any further. I mean, I'm pretty sure I knew you were lying. Yeah, everyone knew, it's just they didn't really want to say in front of Lyndon, even though he knew a lot. Yeah, I kill innocent 
people. Well, he didn't. The thing is, he didn't like go through their. Yeah, London doesn't want to know. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's, you don't want to hear, so don't worry about it. They could have been evil. Oh. He didn't check their pockets or anything. He was just like, I've got to kill them. Doesn't matter who they are. Just keep them faceless yeah. and nameless. Don't ask about it. And yeah, we discovered the party should never form a band. Okay. <laughs> I disagree. I still think it could work. I've got the horn of blasting. Oh wait, no, that oh, exploded. Oh, that exploded. Yeah. Still though, I still first think... time you used it too. That's the worst part. Ugh. That was horrible. So, when last we left off. You guys had reached the uh, river here. I'm trying to remember what the name of the river is. What's that? The Are Winding you... Water. Ooh. It is known as. And um, those of you in the know about the area know that this river is quite wide. Um, it is quite swift. And it is generally considered this time of year to be quite dangerous to cross. Um, if you wait a few weeks, it might freeze over and it would be easier to cross then. However, um, within, you know, about 50 miles of you, there are only a couple of places to cross. Uh, one of which is the Boriskir Bridge, which is to the south, uh, east of you. Uh, Ren will pull out a tiny box from her pocket and be like, I forgot I have a boat. You do have a boat. Do you wish to attempt to use the boat? Does everybody want me to use the boat? Because it's very precious yes. to me. It's up to you guys. I can fly across if need be, but... I mean, I can fly across too. I, I, I can would fly love across to help just you be... guys out. This will be easier if we're all in a boat. Technically, Jasper, you couldn't like... fly across. I have my eight. Um, I have a mutagen that lets me fly. Oh, okay. I was going to say, with your wings, they only last a minute, so you can only go like 300 feet. No, I have a mutagen. It just lets me go 20 feet. <laughs> it's oh, very slow. Slowly, slowly it's too slow. Kinda... Yeah. Uh, where is my boat? Lyndon, can you... Oh, I also... Don't know. Lyndon, can you carry me across? Uh... <laughs> I don't yeah, know if so, I can turn um, into a big enough I bird. I can make the boat a 10-foot long, 4 feet wide, 2 feet deep boat. It has one pair of oars, but it can hold four medium creatures, but there's five of us. Oh. Okay, I'll fly. Um, I can fly as yeah. well if it's it lighter. Yeah, you're... Um, Ranger and Druid, both of you roll me nature checks. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, to be roll a nature check. <laughs> okay, uh, I got it. Here we it. go. Okay. Yep, I got us. <laughs> okay, Linden. <laughs> As you are discussing how you're going to cross the river, uh, you're looking around, and you can see that there are lots of little, um, it seems to be little tiny green fish that are swimming up the stream. They're kind of long and thin, and they remind you kind of of a fish that you've seen before. Uh, it's kind of a bottom feeding thing. It's called a, I believe the name of it is a gar. Um, one second, I think I can find you an image. I think Barnaby should catch one. Here we go. These cute little guys. Am I afraid of what it looks like? Because you have a weird definition of cute. <laughs> Copy address. Let's go put the link in here. And I'll put it in the Twitch chat. Oh, it opened. Oh, 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 like a barracuda. Kind of, except they're freshwater and they like rivers. But they seem to be swimming against the stream, and you notice something kind of odd. Um, mainly that they seem to be congregating near the shore. Like they, there seems to be quite a few of them, and they're just kind of. It's not as though they're looking at you, but they're kind of just drawn toward your group. Right. One. With that 20 on nature, you have actually, um, in your discussions with your, your former boss, um, uh -huh. one of the species that they had captured, he found extremely interesting because it was a fish that had mutated a sense of uh, an ability to sense magic. 
and uh, they are drawn to it. And it seems to be a fish that has been actively bred by some people who shall remain nameless. But you know that they prefer to eat either magically infused flesh, but they have been known to steal magical items as well. Oh. Guys, watch out. They're coming for our magic. No! <laughs> You've probably actually seen them in action before with a 20 on nature. Like, I'm thinking that your manager, like, showed you an aquarium full of them at some point. It's like, look, if I put this pseudo dragon in here, and it just immediately gets ripped to pieces. All right. So, I'm not putting so, my boat in that. Yeah, they might go right through that. You're not pushing me in. <laughs> you almost got Lyndon killed twice in two days. Let me just let me just have you get bitten a little bit by some gars. Come on. No. Okay. <laughs> well. We could use them. So I guess our best option is if they like to eat magic to go across that bridge and we put, it'd be a walk. Throw the, the hat of wizardry in somewhere and I'll go and eat that and we just fly over. No, we need it. Over. For what? What if we meet a nice wizard? Maybe if we put it on the squid's head and see what happens. I'll turn to Kel of the wizard that. hat. It, it tells you that he's Hufflepuff. <laughs> Wait, so, um, Lyndon, are these fish usually only in the Fae? Like no. the Doom Ball? No. I don't, yeah, they would be just... She saw an example of them in the fish. Doom Vault. Like, they, they were going around, like, actively sending people out to capture species and bring them in. Oh. They just out here. Remember that, <laughs> that pool that was full of glowing water? Oh, the one that yeah. I almost went into? Yeah. That would have been bad. <laughs> but these are naturally occurring ones. I'm just going to walk up to Linden and kneel down and go upsies. <laughs> upsies is sort of Clora. His, his clothes, <laughs> like a baby. I can't, cannot pick you up like this. Still in elf form. Okay. Please, please go, you know. I mean, so yeah, I don't know if, if I did turn into a giant eagle or something, if I could carry everyone across. It's a lot of a lot of very heavy people. Let's do what your strength Because I think is. our, oh, my strength is, is not great right now, so hopefully it gets better. I think I could carry one of the lighter ones with the boots of flying. I feel attacked. Uh, 16 strength. So that's what, like 300 something pounds? Yeah. How much do you weigh, Barnaby? Do, 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 do. Let me check my thing. 312 pounds, bugger. And I've got some. <laughs> well. Before equipment. <laughs> oh, you can carry so, me. No. Hang on. How far across is this river? 500 feet. Mm hmm. I'm going to go. I got this, you guys. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Use the ring of jump. Leap across really the river. Right, no, so you're not going to make in. it. Stop. Use the cape Stop. of the Montebank to travel 500 feet over the river. How do you have the cape of the Montebank? And then go, fuck, I should have taken Linda with me. <laughs> That's all right. If there are trees, Sorry. I can also walk into this... a tree over here and walk out of a tree this on the other side. one-time use that I wanted to show off and I didn't think I could actually bring someone with me. Mm, I've done it now. Okay, well, now Barnaby's on the other side. You can carry light people, you said? As long as you weigh under 300 pounds. Uh, with equipment. Yeah, no, I'm not carrying much. I have my haversack. Yeah, no. Carry me! And I jump on London. <laughs> Please, let me turn into the bird first. <laughs> so as both of you tumble into the water. <laughs> no. We all die. <laughs> okay. Does, am I just carrying Rin, or do I have to come back? Should establish this now before I am heard. Once you uh, actually just change into a giant eagle, I can actually transform into one with falling. But oh yeah, I just... wouldn't actually have seen a giant oh, okay. eagle. Okay, yeah. So once you see it, what about Erwin? I'm using the boots of flying to fly over. All right. So all eagle, grab yep. Ren. Tell you will be good. Boots, 
It would take me like three Make hours sure... to fly across, so. Yeah, it's going to take a second. Make sure you, uh, take a second for me, too. I think that a giant eagle has a flying speed of 80, so it's going to take a couple minutes. <laughs> Was Barnaby able to cross with his ring of jumping? No, he used the cape. Yeah, if he did just try to jump, he wouldn't have made it. But Where he did he get a cape? Thing. He's had it for a minute. Oh. Remember he, he used it to teleport away from you guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah his, run away, his runaway blanket. No no one's stolen it off of him in his sleep yet, so. <laughs> you guys gotta get on that, seriously. I should not have this. <laughs> I just <have> leave <laughs> you to die every time. It takes them with me when I remember. All right. All right. So Everyone over. who's using magic items. Okay. If we do it, then that warning was irrelevant. <laughs> we can fly like in the same. Just make sure water. you go pretty high so the fish don't jump up and eat them. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. The amount of bank has been used. A fourth level spell. What other resources were used in this? Uh, well, I used the winged boots. So I can, I will suppose, like, I can give myself, like, one hour of flight. That should be enough to cross the river. Oh god, yeah, that's that's more than enough. I mean, your speed's not that high, but yeah, it would only take you like a minute and a half, maybe. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's I, the problem. I, I guess I, I only have to use a minimum of, of a one minute, so yeah, I'll just give myself a bit of time. Okay. I'm using my giant eagle mount. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dump you into the river. No! Mount. <laughs> All right, so you make it across the river. You are now in the middle of a huge field. We have been uh, the broken world. Why did by we the cross dice. the river again? I hope you enjoyed the stream, you <laughs> The end. <laughs> Next week, we will cross I love that. Yeah, river. this is our our session title, and it's been eighteen minutes, and we've done it. Uh, I'll just shut the stream. Out of us. <laughs> did we did we have to cross the river? I mean, yeah. If you wanted to go south, yes. Oh, okay. I, like, I mean, this, this route is taking you completely off of the trade route, mind you. Oh, fuck. Well, no, we'll go back towards it, won't we? No. Across country, I mean, it's fine. Follow, yeah, you can either cut across the country or you can follow the river or, or um, I mean, however you want to get there. But you can see where it begins again. Basically, the, the road continued on to the Borskir Bridge, it crosses the river, and then it just goes on between those hills. But now, you are... Right there. Do we want to travel to the tradeway? Or do you want to stay off the road? Because that might be Legion of Salt checkpoints or something. Well, let's go back towards it, and then once we get close, we can assess. Yeah. If if we run into a checkpoint, we can just like duck into the undergrowth or something. Because we are very sneaky. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> well, for the time being, I think we are definitely off it. I'm gonna make. Rinja. Are you still a giant eagle? <laughs> no, I'll turn back. Oh. All right, so who is leading the way? Uh, I guess I will, since I know how to get to Burdusk. Okay. Um, hey, actually, before I turn back from a giant eagle, can I, like, fly up a little? Is there, like, it's just an open field? Uh, where you're at is an open field, yes. It leads into foothills pretty quickly. Like, keep in mind, those hills that you are you can see on the map, like the little swirls and stuff, um... One inch on this map is something like 10 miles. So those are big hills. Yeah, they are. All right. Well, I was going to say I could fly up and see if there's anything ahead. But if it's already pretty open, can we kind of just see? Uh, you can see a pretty, yeah, you can see about as far as you're going to be able to see, you know, yeah. here before you get up into the hills. Um, right. Actually, so roll, me, roll me a perception check, everybody. I think eagles get an advantage. Yeah, I'm not even sure they do. Okay. I'll wait for the Yeah, I should 
get advantage because of some range of shit if I'm out in the field. I'm 90% sure. Barnaby! Yes. You do not get advantage. Do I not? But, okay. yeah. Uh, I, I don't think so. Um, but uh, you notice that off to the southeast a bit, kind of on the other side of this hill over here, I need to choose my dice color because that's ridiculously hard to see. <laughs> there we go. Kind of back in that area, you can see that there is a huge flock of uh, what appears to be some sort of carrion birds just circling in the sky. Peritons out here. Oh, they look a little wait. small for peritons. Crabane from and, Dunland. And, Actually, I don't know where they are. Lyndon, do you know? I'll point them out to Lyndon. I don't know how I got that. I don't think I got the highest on perception. <laughs> I'll point them out to <laughs> Lyndon, though, because he would actually know what they are. Lyndon, you could roll a nature check to try to identify them if you wish. All right. Oh, man. I'm just all over the nature today. They are what appear to be common buzzards. Well, well turkey buzzards specifically. I would guess. Something is dead over there. And they have come to eat it. That is what those do. Wait, it's probably a dragon or something. There was something mentioned of dead dragons. That it's animals. probably not a dragon. That yeah. happened like years ago. Little do you know, it takes 18 years for one dragon scale to fully decompose. Maybe. I don't think so. Probably. I don't think so either. Uh, how would you possibly know? <laughs> um. I'm gonna well, head towards the buzzards <laughs> and just not wait for an answer. <laughs> oh, wait, come on. This is preposterous that you know anything about dragons. Let's go. Let's start walking towards wow. the buzzards. <laughs> wow. You can't hit them. I can hit the buzzards. Yeah. Well, well, what are they I'm, eating? I'm saying Erwin can hit you. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> Just want to throw out that option. But anyway, um, so are you going to go around the hill, or are you going to go over the hill, or how are you going? To... Uh, over the hill for better sight lines. And stuff? Yeah, let's. Yeah, we can be above them. All, All right. right. Change the episode to over the hill. So. And through the woods. But yeah. To grandma's house. That's where we're going. I mean, yeah, it takes you the most of the day to get kind of almost to the top of the hill. Um, and I mean, it's just a huge grassy hill. It's quite open, uh, but it is getting toward dark. Do you want to proceed through the night or do you want to camp? Well, at this point, can we see what the birds were eating before we decide? No, you would have no. to travel the rest of the way to be able to see down the hill at least. Great. Like, you guys just covered, like, 15 miles through grasslands pretty much over the course of the day. Uh, I mean, was it all through maybe... difficult terrain, or no? No. Okay, I'm trying to just use this natural explorer thing to the max to exploit it. Uh, no, nah, I mean, it's it's legit just grassland. <laughs> it's a little bit chill as far. I can move double speed. No, oh, well. Uh, if we're tracking these... Buzzards or whatever. Can I know how many of them there are, roughly? Uh, I mean, it looks to you like there's at least 20 to 30. Okay. That's, that's a lot. Okay, I think we should rest. What do you What do you think, Lyndon? I agree. I care about no one else, yeah. no one else's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> if, we're, if we're good here, we'll be able to see someone coming from pretty far away. Hopefully. Five miles away from that thing, or is that way, way, way more than that? Uh, let me take a look at the scale again. I think I have to do a primeval awareness. I'll know if there's a fee. If you look at the bottom left corner, you can see what the scale is like. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. Screw that. That's that's quite a distance. Zero distance. Yeah, I'll still do the whole primeval awareness thing, see if there's any fiends or monstrosities within five miles of us, just before we all start taking a watch. Uh, fiends, no. Monstrosities, most certainly. Oh, okay. How many and how many miles from us? Um, it kind of varies. Probably about 
between 50 and 60 in total. Wow. And uh, anywhere, you know, from five miles away to a few hundred feet. Keep the watch. Keep it well, because there's, there's okay, tons okay. of things sprawling through these hills. However, I am lazy, so I shall not be keeping watch. Good luck. Who's <laughs> <laughs> taking first watch? I'll take first watch. Oh, I should probably take it because I can't see that well when it gets dark. Okay. It's true. I will take a watch later. I'll take like third watch, I guess. Just roll perception. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll my perception check. Okay. <laughs> Your watch is extremely uneventful. You watch the the sunset; it's quite beautiful. Uh, you you see the the sun sinking down over the Trollclaw Mountains, and it's it's quite lovely and peaceful. Second watch. Right. Bell. As night falls and such, um, you're sitting there with your your superior dark vision. You know you're, you're finally able to take your little goggle things off, and you know you're able to to see clearly. And uh, pour a drink. And you're sitting there watching. You know the this uh, herd of deer go. Well, I don't know if deer go in herds. I guess they would. I don't know. But um, it's, you uh... see like five or six deer just kind of, you know, scampering across the field. And uh, you look away for a moment, and whenever you look back, there are two of them that are gone. Just gone. I was going to check her party to make sure that none of them just are gone. <laughs> Not <laughs> yet. This do, do oh, the yeah. counting. Not so far. I don't trust him. <laughs> uh, and then I'm waking up who for the third watch? Me! Okay. Uh, I always uh, have great third watches. I, lo I let Ren know about the uh, potentially disappearing deer. I, th I think it might be a species of blink deer. <laughs> what? That's not a real thing, is it? Uh, do I know of anything of a blink deer? <laughs> a blink deer? Roll me a nature check to see what you know about blink deer. I know of blink dogs. Oh, shit. You're like, they're probably a thing. Yeah, oh no, blink deer are definitely a thing. They're probably just like blink dogs, except with antlers. Told you about I'll start keeping watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barnaby was talking about it. It's fine. <laughs> He's our ranger. I trust him. Yeah, his nature facts are great. He certainly doesn't make shit up. I see anything of an 11. Uh, no, you don't, actually. What's your armor class? Oh, 18. Okay. I, why? No reason. I was gonna just, um, during my long walk. Not while I'm watch. Just play with the sunblade a little. Like practice. Okay. So you're out there shuffling your feet and throwing sunlight around, keeping everybody awake? Yeah, especially <laughs> Pell. Yeah, thanks, thanks, man. <laughs> Just burning Pell's iris. I'll do it away from Pell because they're sensitive drow eyes. I'm sure nothing will harm me, ever. Roll me a d20. Oh, I was going to be like, if I got another one, I'm just quitting and <laughs> never taking watches again. Okay. Does the sun sword talk back to me? Mm, no, unfortunately, it does not. Darn. But, if it helps at all, setting up a map real quick, for no reason. Mm -hmm. So I 
Yeah, my fancy glass just crashed. I'm just restarting it. Oh, crap. Okay. I love when he just has to open a map. Well, you know, sometimes you just have to open a map for no reason. I still don't trust that this head won't just keep quiet out of spite. Apparently I not. My prices and it's... I don't know, it might not. <laughs> Especially Maybe. since I was just asked what my armor class was. Maybe the bug bank guns. What does that have to do with anything? Oh. Might cast like warning or alarm or something and wake us up. You never know. Oh, oh I don't is... like this map. This is the this map, map where I died. This is also the map where we buried Argo. It's a great map. Don't put me on it. I want to be next. Oh, you're all you're all going on the map. <laughs> That's near where she he died last time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It's okay, guys. I'm keeping watch really good with my really good perception. What the frick, mouse? Stop it! Every time I try to click, it's double clicking for no apparent reason. There we go. Man, I should start keeping watch. I'm just fucking lazy. Just love sleeping, you know? You're so lazy. Okay, I'm back on on the fancy grounds. It's not my fault. Our creation myth is we did use the sleep laziest like elves. bug player. <laughs> and we used to sleep like elves, but one of the gods took all of Bugbear's vitality, so they have to sleep now. And he never sleeps in return. And it's kind of cool. Okay. You're you literally like a cat. Position yourselves. Yeah, a lion or a cat. Just twenty to twenty day hours a day. I'll put myself like right there. I don't know what, because I'm. I want to be a far away. Wait, is that green stuff a pond or is it like grass? We can. That's just grass. Okay, it's good. Like you guys use that as like your website. I want to see how fancy I am. <laughs> You're having difficulty adjusting to the fact that this thing essentially has no real substance to the blade. Yeah, because that's you it. You are messing about with it. You all of a sudden feel just a slight rumble in the ground. Oh no. Monsters. A wumble? A wumble. Oh dear. Oh no! Those are the land sharks! Hey. Um. <laughs> oh my god, it just ate you. What? Did it eat me? <laughs> it might. It depends on how well you roll. So first of all, go ahead and target you. I'm glad I didn't take that freaking flying potion. I'm just saying right now. <laughs> but yeah, like the ground rumbles. And then all of a sudden, this massive, massive boule leaps out of the ground. It I looks just, like this. I let out a big old yell. He's smiling. Oh, they're so cute too, which is Stupid. terrible. So looks like Barnaby. <laughs> like a little Barnaby. Um, from the bite, you take forty twelve damage. Oh. <sighs> And I would like for you to roll me a strength or dexterity saving throw. I use dexterity. Oh no. Oh dear. So as it leaps out and bites into you, it just kind of closes its whole mouth pretty much over most of your body. And as the full weight of this thing, it probably weighs almost as much as a car is coming down on you, you feel the ground just give way beneath you. And all you see is blackness as you are drawn into the ground. The rest of you, roll the perception checks. <laughs> Those of you who are trancing do not have disadvantage. Those of you who have to sleep have disadvantage. I have too many maps open. Well, you only need the one right now. The battle map. There we go. The Sword Coast one is more for the audience than anything else. Okay, so Linden and Pelinistra, your meditation is disturbed 
as suddenly there was like kind of sunlight beyond your eyelids as you were sitting there trancing. And then all of a sudden everything gets black and it's very quiet. And it's as you open your eyes, you see that there is no Rin. Merely disturbed Earth where she stood. Oh, shit. I'm going to kick Barnaby really hard to wake him up. <laughs> okay. Well, and then start going that way. Was it the blue lights? I sensed them like a mile away, but I thought Rin could keep watch. Oh, helpful, helpful. I should have mentioned that in hindsight. All right, where is she? <laughs> Why you even took my token me. off the map? I genuinely oh. thought the head would wake us up. I'm sorry. I didn't think you took it off the map. I made you hostile and turned you invisible. <laughs> oh no! God, these things have got charm as well. So, what is your immediate reaction? Like, you, you wake up Barnaby and Irwin. Yeah, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, what do we do? We I'm digging? going to. I guess start charging towards the, like the uh, the big hole in the ground where she where Rin was and see. I, mean, I can't see shit in the dark actually, so I'm probably gonna trip over a few times. Oh god. Uh yeah, so roll me perception check. Luckily it's not vision based. Okay. Uh, you feel a rumble from your right. Oh shit, shit. Oh wait, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good to know. There he is! Linda, do you want to get on my shoulders so if anything tries to jump up and eat you, I just throw you out of the way as a reaction? Um, go ahead and roll me no. initiative. We'll, we'll take the five turns as to see who gets surprised and who doesn't. Do I get to roll initiative? Guess who's immune yeah, to surprise? Roll initiative as well. Oh, good. Yeah, if it gets within 30 feet of you, these things tend to leap. Does the alert give you advantage on initiatives? Plus no, five. just plus five. Yeah, that's why I have plus seven. It makes you better. Plus two. Yeah, so Linda will not be surprised. Um, Erwin, you are not surprised either. But unfortunately, his initiative, I think, is still higher than yours. Yeah. So he will get first attack, but he does not get advantage. Misses. So he whiffs over you. Oh, jeez. That thing uh, is big. Alanistra, give me a perception check as these things are just merrily leaping out of the ground. Okay, so no surprise on you either. What is your initiative? Oh, you're up first. Okay, so what are you going to do? You just saw uh, one boule leap over Erwin, and the other one, you can see the ground being disturbed to your left. Okay. Uh, Erwin said something about he can't see. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a dancing lights in the area where I'm at. Okay, cool. To illuminate like a 20-foot radius or whatever. Yeah. All right. So we'll say that for the purposes of uh, Irwin, you can see. Excellent. Thank you. But unfortunately, that means it gets his attack. No advantage. <laughs> So this one leaps over you. Barnaby, perception check. Okay, uh, do I get advantage because these are favored enemies? I just don't know if that's a thing. Yes. That's just for intelligence Wait, checks. Wait, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think you get a... No. You don't get advantage to like every roll. You get advantage to some Specific role, ones. Like, like more. Them or something. Yeah. yeah, it's like yeah. nature checks and things against beings yeah. and monstrosities. Okay. Okay, so you, you see that there's a one that's about to leap at you as well. Um, um, okay. What are you going to do? From over here? Yeah, number two. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, wait, so this is still underground. It's currently, like, it's basically about to be in mid-leap. Like, this is pretty much the... It's 
kind of a modified surprise attack because yeah. they're technically attacking by surprise, but I'm giving you guys perception checks to see if you know that you're about to get hit. Okay. Is there anything I can So that you can do react to, to it if your initiative's high. To intercept it or something? To just to stop it hitting me and Lyndon? Or do they only... That, it's not like a deadly leap where they hit everything in the area. Uh, it can be. If people are close enough together. Yeah. So far, the two that were together weren't near each other, so... I'm going to stand in front of it and just ready in a... Oh, if you're ready in attack, do you get one or two? One. Okay, screw that then. I just... Point this one out to, to Lyndon. I don't know what to do. That sucks. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's amazing. Let's go over here. I'm fine. I'm immune to surprise. Yeah. Lyndon knows what's up. They're coming. I see them. <laughs> Move over to this one, and uh, you can flank these things, right? Uh, yeah, you can flank them. Okay, I'm just gonna start slowly. It hasn't gotten to go back underground yet. Oh shit! Okay, so I'm gonna attack it once, and then again, and this, and then again with Great Weapon Master because I landed a crit. Oh wait, this, this last two weren't at advantage. I'm just, I'll see if this one hits. So one extra hit. Um, All right. That's my turn. I didn't. Yeah, actually, that's good. Lyndon, what you gonna do? Um, are there rocks around us? Uh, sure. We'll say there's a few. Like, how big a rock are you talking? Just like. <laughs> Any? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's rocks around. Okay. Um, cause... I was gonna say if you want like boulders or something, that might be a little bit less likely. But no, I just want to cast Wrath of Nature on some rocks. Okay. Um. What will that do? It will animate all of the. I'm gonna do it on, on the. Um. It does it on everything, I think. Or do I just have to pick one? 60-foot cube centered on that point. Uh, grasses. You can get it... grasses and rocks. Okay. So, um... Is Barnaby not affected by difficult terrain? Oh, no, it says for your enemies. Okay, so I'm going to make a 60-foot cube... Over by the this one that's in the middle here. Well, over both of them, I guess. How many feet is that? Pretty damn big. Well, yeah, just kind of over this whole area. That becomes difficult terrain for them. I don't know if that'll do anything. But also, all of the rocks uh, become animated. And then I can use my bonus action and fling them all. At this giant shark. All right. Um, do, do, do. To pick Where up. are you, shark? Well, never mind. I did a bad job flinging. They, they, <laughs> they failed the save, so you hit it. Well, I don't... Yeah, it says on a hit. So yeah. I have to... Oh. The save, so I don't know why it rolled that. All right, so the rocks are being disobedient, but yeah. you have made difficult terrain. Yes, I have. Which is good, except they burrow. But still, if well, they try to travel on cross land, they'll be slowed. And you can fling the rocks, so that's good. Um, I give the rocks a talking to. Their turns. Train them a little. <laughs> Let's see. What's your movement, friend? Oh, it's zero. Burrow 40. Okay. So this one's with Ren. One, two, three, four, four six, seven, ten. You can't really see it, but you could like see kind of little. Well, actually, you can't. No, no, you have the, the dancing lights. You can see the little plumes of dust going off to the northeast. It's making like a molehill. <laughs> And the lay two went. 
Kool-Aid. Three wins. Let's see. Oh, no, it skipped Kool-Aid three. He didn't go. Let's see. Erwin and Barnaby, both of you roll for B, A, D, 20. Let's see who, who's the lucky boy or girl. Or what it is. Wow. Oh, no. Well, a natural 20 hit you all know. <laughs> nah. I should have taken that hit. Oh. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Erwin, strength or dexterity saving throw? Your choice. I'll do a strength saving throw, and I will have my aura thingy. That will give me, like, plus, plus two on this save. Yeah, good plan. Okay, you're good. Uh, All right, so it bites the crap out of you and just, like, slams into the ground. It does not take you with it, though. Yeah, Owen's just resting with it at this point. Belay four. All right, took its turn. Belay five took its turn. Which leaves number six. And Barnaby is the closest. Come at me, bro. So we're just going to go with Barnaby. Nope. I'm going to attack him with a reaction. All right. Uh, where do I, why did I turn off my favorite enemy thing? Okay. Uh, missed the switch. Okay. Erwin, your turn. Okay. Well, I don't like these things. Owen's going to yell out in anger and cast haste on herself. And then with her, yeah, then with her action, she's going to, with her hasted, there's an action to cast haste, and with her hasted action, she's going to try and do this thing. And then, like, can I burn a smite into that with, like, a second level smite? Yep. Not a problem. Nice. That'll be my turn. All right. Now. Rent. Hello. You are currently traveling underground at a high rate of speed. Yeah. What would you like to do? Guess cry. I can't. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's a free action to cry. <laughs> mm, I don't, is there anything I could do? Well, um, you have dark vision, right? Or I, dark have dark, I do have dark vision of 90 feet. Okay. Um, roll me a perception check first. Oh, no. 21? So you can notice a couple things. First of all, you are inside of this thing. Oh. <laughs> you can definitely tell from looking around that you are inside of a creature. Um, you could also tell that there appears to be very nasty-looking something on the other side of a barrier that is surrounding you currently. Um, you can't smell anything. That's good. Or anything like that, but you seem to be in some kind of a bubble inside of this monster. Oh. Um, okay. What are you gonna do? Can I try to attack it? You can. With my sunblade, because that's out, I guess. Alright. Uh, I can't target because I'm not on the carpet tracker. 26? That's fine. All right, so you stab into the bubble. Yeah. Roll me damage. Oh, nine. 
Nine damage. All right. But wait, there's more. Do, can I get my scimitar of sharpness out, or should, can I just do three attacks with my sunblade? Um, you would only get two attacks with your sunblade. Okay, so I guess I'm not in position to get my scimitar. Mm, no. Roll me a sleight of hand. Oh, okay. Well, that's the second attack for the sunblade. Does a 16 hit? Yep. Nope. Okay. So, you uh, manage to burst the bubble. As you do so, acid begins to wash over you. Fuck! Yeah, why'd you do that? I don't know! <laughs> I'm not naturey. That's Take fair. Take 13. Okay. Can it's I... The swim bladder. Oh, wait. I had 38 before, right? Yep. Oh, shit. So you're down 51. Yeah, so. that's a lot. The bubble is still gone, unfortunately. <laughs> you broke it. Um, but yeah, you're you're out of the bubble now. Um, one second, please. I don't have magic, and <laughs> I can't get my mutagen. Um, I just had somebody knock. Uh, let's go ahead and take like a five minute break, real quick. Okay. All right. Thanks.
the stomach of the boy. Are we back or no? Yes, we are. If everybody's back. Oh, yeah. Ready, ready to check yeah. everyone, I think everyone's here. Okay. Yeah, let's just, let's just go and pretend everyone's here. What? Would casting grease make a creature throw up? No. It doesn't. You can't cast grease inside of something. That's stupid. Ty did do that. Well, Ty should know better. <laughs> He's trying his uh, best. It, I know, but I'm just saying. It's He's like, he gets ridiculous with it sometimes. It's like, I cast great water inside their lungs. No, you fucking don't. It doesn't work like that. Do I have my backpack? Uh... Would you have had your backpack whenever you were practicing with a sunblade while camping? I don't, I don't know. I don't think I, I mean, would. I, I personally would think it's probably sitting like 10 feet yeah. away. Or, yeah. I was thinking. I mean, it be, yeah, it sucks. Yeah. So I only have my sunblade. But I have my armor and I my mean, boots. It, it's horrible because it's like, I, I feel like this creates paranoid players because it's like you were role-playing it and being like, I'm standing yeah. over here. But at the same time, it's, you know... It's okay, I don't need my mutagens. <laughs> what would you need those for? I don't need those to help me do anything. <laughs> I got my trusty old sunblade on. Looks like one person has not liked. Was it you? It was not me. Alright, we are ready. We, and we are live with Save by the Dice with Pelder Cleric Drow. Let's go! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go, pal. Kill them all. Yeah. Use your magic. Blast. Oh, he cast Blink on Rin. Oh, that's cool. That's what you gonna do, pal. Is keep it simple and stab the shit out of uh, my new buddy here. Fair enough. And why is it not showing? Oh. There we go. And as a bonus action, going to give, Let's see if I can find. Party inspiration to Erwin. Whoop their ass. You. Okay, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> that would be a bit awkward. Love you, Ty, but you... <laughs> if you do Blake, it might kill Ren. But do they make a tunnel behind them? Should just be in a tunnel? They don't make tunnels. They don't? They... Oh, God. Yeah, we're dead. We'll give you those points back. Yeah, if you can think of a different spell you want to cast. Uh, are you done, Sif? Yeah, that's everything I can okay. do. Okay. All right. I want to slash at them with my sweet Bardiche, which isn't a glaive, but a Bardiche. Wait, is this thing being hit at all with Bullet 6? It looks healthy. Uh, Almost all of them are healthy, actually. Yeah. I'm going to go over here to get the sweet flank on. To take an off attack from this big boy. Pal has a point. You are likely to survive asphyxiation longer than you would survive in the acid. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, how, what's your con mod? You can hold your breath for ages. Uh, I'm gonna hunt this mark this thing and then stab at it twice. Quick check your inventory. Who's got a shovel? <laughs> And then you guys look over and you just see Rin's happy little backpack. <laughs> With a shovel sticking out of it. Probably. Disgusting. 
Oh. There you go. Hey, all the dice. Hey, only 45. I should have not used the bonus action and then done great weapon. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We did it. That's my turn. Linden. Woohoo. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fling my rocks at this boy. Oh, that's so much better. He succeeded. It's saved though. Well, that just means that it is not prone. That's weird. It made it roll a dex save. Oh yeah. That's what it is. It says it's a strength save. Oh, it does say strength. That's weird. Hold on. I mean, to roll a twenty, it succeeded either way, but it's it's just odd. I'll change it for next time. Yeah, I think it's just not formatted right. There we go. So I was like, why would you have to roll an attack roll and to get a deck save? I don't understand, but <sighs> yeah, it's a save. So it takes three gate bludgeoning. It does. Um... Okay, wait, that's weird. This says 46 slashing. Why is this wrong? Because that's uh, an option that's... for the trees. That's that's the trees. Yeah, uh, you're, you're looking Can at the I add thingy. One? Uh, does it not have an option for the rocks? Um, not currently. Hold on. Yeah, you can technically add it. Oh, no, that was just me rolled 3d8. Uh, if you want, just roll 3d8, and we'll do that for now. Okay, and I'll figure out how to add this later. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's my roll command again? Is it roll or dice? Uh, slash... Die, I think. My elf mod. Yeah, because you're an elf. Twelve more damage. And that was your bonus. What you gonna do for your actual turn? It was. Um. I can't. <laughs> 26 plus elf. Yeah, you get plus two damage for the knife years. You should probably lightning bolt those two wound to class or anything else. Well, yeah, I could get them in a line. I mean, you could actually, if you really wanted to go for maximum damage, you could technically hit Boule for Pelinistra, Erwin. <laughs> yeah, <Mark>. definitely. <clears throat> They've got a base, probably. Do it. <laughs> yeah, because that won't hit, hit Burnaby. Most talented do, hit right? Me. Or you could hit me, I wouldn't mind. I don't want to hit you. I don't want you to hit me either, but I'd understand. Okay, now they do have to make a dex save. Okay. Do, do, do. It's not fair that they don't like lightning. Oh. Yay! Saves, apparently. <clears throat> Ow! I murdered them. Why would you do that? Alright, so that was your bonus and your action. Any other movement or anything you want to do? Um, no, I'll stand over here. Don't, <coughs> Don't call me that, Barnaby. <laughs> I meant it effectually, he just doesn't understand. He's just set in his ways. <laughs> okay, so Boulet 1 is a moving. Alright, so here's what we're going to say happens. Second, while I get there, he is. There's my friend. What are you doing? Why? Why? This guy isn't friendly, whoever he's summoning. 
Why must it do these things to me? No, it's not what I wanted. Not even a little bit what I wanted. Huh. Interesting. Sorry, it's being a jerk. There it spits we go. me out and gives me 12 magical items. <gasps> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> precisely Amazing. what happens. So, as it is traveling, it is going to make Eve. God. Okay, good. Trophy total. Nope. Perception check. My belts! <laughs> I left them all over there. Okay. So that's going to be. Jasper, you feel it's slowed down pretty significantly. Is it dead? No. Not yet. Um, roll me a deck save. Natural it's... 20! Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's only once per turn. All right, fair enough. <gasps> oh boy! Does oh shit! If an ally oh shit, him? son! I think that I missed anyway. I kind of wish I was streaming right now so that people could see me trying to juggle fourteen windows. I know, right? Okay. So I was thinking, I'll, yeah, I'll have to quickly set something up, even if it's a bit rubbish. Okay, here we go. Vantage. There we go. And... Ooh, I gotta see what happens on the inside of his poison arrows. <laughs> Just see one, like, poke through right in front of you. Like, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> So, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> now he has to cut you out. Um, those of you who are above ground, roll me perception checks real quick. Those of you who are above ground. Love it. Yeah, let me make one too. <laughs> oh my god, I actually saw something this time. Oh. Everything's still black. Okay, so all of you, <laughs> off to the northeast, you see what appears to be a very bright, like, blue light just kind of appear in the night sky and it just kind of builds up in a ball. And then you just see a streak just go shooting down straight to the ground and just vanish. Jasper, Hello. from your field of vision, you see just this bright flash of blue light go just channeling through the stomach of this creature, um, missing you completely somehow. You were able, able to, to divert yourself out of the way. But as it passes through, there's just this rush of air and the body of the thing almost turns inside out around you. Okay, so the thing is, um, Rin was praying to a Valathe when this happened, so she thinks this is her, but she knows it's not, and she's like, oh, she helped! <laughs> but either way, it has stopped. Unfortunately, you are 80 feet underground. Start digging. Bule 2 oh. is going to disengage and burrow. Bule 3 is going to disengage a burrow. Bule 4 is going to disengage a burrow. And Bule 6 is going to disengage a burrow. They all head towards me. I was going to kill them all, so... Erwin! What the hell? I was like... I, I, when they burrow, do they provoke opportunity attacks from me? They do because they use their action to disengage. Oh, shit. 
Oh, so they just engaged. Yep. Shit, we're well, just going to stomp on the ground in anger. Using my, like, all three of my attacks and hasted attack. And that'll just pass my turn. <laughs> Attempted to have you roll a strength check. That would be funny, though. Um, so yeah, what are you guys going to do? Like, it's all quiet at the moment. Oh, well, we need to go and get Rin. I'm going to get Rin, but she's gonna, underground. I'm going to get Rin's bag. I've got Hunter's Mark yeah. on the one underground, do I? Sense it leaving or getting further away from me, basically. You sense it moving into a better attack position. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. good. Okay, it's not over. Don't, don't, don't relax. And I'm gonna. Okay, I'm move. still getting Rin's bag. <laughs> Stay in the center of, uh, of Linden's area and just take the dodge action and wait for anything to come so I've got the advantage to not get hit and to get out of the way on deck saves. Group up. I've just put one hand on the on the ground trying to sense where they're coming from, just listening keenly. I don't I mean, how long do we if we've got some time I'm going to heal myself? I mean, it's your turn. So yeah, do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Turn. You, you trespass. Yeah. You can yeah. Do that. <laughs> I, I'd love it if they attack you. Yeah, were... make no, make no mistake. You are not out of combat. Yeah, I'd love it if their tactics were they're that smart that they're like, right, guys, let's waste way out the haste. When she's stunned, then we'll all pop out. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I don't think they're that clever though. <laughs> that would be funny for bullets to be just like that. Do they count as animals that I could locate them with locate animals or plants? <laughs> hey, you skipped my turn. <laughs> oh yeah, Ren, what are you? So am I still in the rotting the corpse? You are inside of the corpse. There seems to be a very large that you could. A large. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yes. hear the last part. What did he say? I said it has a very large exit wound that you could crawl out of. Okay, I'll peek my head out. Um, and since I'm in the dark, I have 40 feet of movement now, too. There is a void in the earth that is about the size of a clay, and otherwise it is just freshly turned in uh, the direction that it was coming from. And there's no other tunnels or anything? No. It does so not no one can hear me way. scream? Nope. It's kind of like being, you know, buried alive in a grave except 15 times deeper. I, I kind of want to crawl back into the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> it seems safer there. I live here uh, now. The good news is you're no longer taking acid damage because it's all still that... out all over the place. Okay, so I can't don't really have anything to do for my action. So I'm just going to heal and hands myself. Okay. But it's more like just a face palm, like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't tar- eh. Um... Yeah, I don't. I, I can't talk to anyone either because we don't have sending stones. Mm. We should get some of those. Oh, oh I, I know. A... Linden has an eighty-seven. <clears throat> oh, um, I know people in Bird Dust. <laughs> like, I know you have the alert feed, but why God did damn. it change to my HP? That's I didn't do that. Question. I probably did whatever I was trying to drag stuff around. I don't <laughs> know what was, your initiative it was. It was 15. Yeah. Okay. I was right before the, yeah. I was, I... I was going to say, I'll, I'll give you like 20 or something, but yeah. Do I, do I see the arrow? Uh, like... Roll me an investigation check. Yes. And I know if I touch it, I'll get poisoned. Well, you don't really know anything. I'm not going to touch it, but I'll be like, huh. You know, something horrible happened last time. Yeah, I'm just going to sit on the corpse. Okay. <laughs> it makes a fine chair. And just think about everything that's ever happened to me. And Actually, with that investigation, um, it's kind of like lying on its side a bit. And as you're looking at it, you notice that under one of its feet, it seems to have a brand. Ooh, yes, looks at it. 
It appears to be the symbol of the Legion of Salt. Oh, boy. <laughs> I stab it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So as you as you begin to stab it um, and use up all your oxygen, uh, Lindy, what were you doing? Um, well, uh, my locate it with locate animals and plants plan is a bust. So nothing. Look, does locate you... animals and plants, does it specify beast? Or does this... No, it just says a specific kind of beast or plant. Yeah. Okay, beast or plant. Okay. Is Rin considered a so beast? So I was going to say, technically, a human's an animal. But, yeah, if it specifies beast. And no, Rin is definitely not a beast. Flexes. Rin is a monstrosity. Thank you. <laughs> say anything else? I'm trying to think of anything I can do before they pop back up. Animal friendship? All of my things are just animals, so. Do you have locate object? No. I was going to be like, you can locate object the sun sword. Put Rin back on the map. What else we can do to prepare? All right. I was going to put a great sword into the ground and a maul as well. And brace it against the uh, the glaive and kneel down in sort of an anti cavalry position. So if anything comes up, I could try and stick it like a you know like a like a boar spear sort of thing. <laughs> and maybe have the net down as well. So if anything flies up, we've got some way to slow these things down. If we've got a couple of seconds before they come back up, we know they're going to be getting into position. We can prepare too. All right, sorry. Um, run that by me one more time. <laughs> He's building a pile of weapons. I, I had somebody else talking to me. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> the dodge starts. Just get ready for these things. Okay. It's much less complicated. That's great. Yeah. All right. Qua. <laughs> no, do it disadvantage. Okay, dodge. Make sure. Okay. Hey, got me in <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> okay, let's take it. Damage to you. Oh. That's oh, that's heal at three. That's not the one I've hundreds marked. Um. And roll for me a strength save. Okay, strength or dex, right? Yeah, strength or dex. Sorry. Right, I'll do dex with advantage. The whole dodgy thing. Oh dear. Oh. 14's not even enough. Oh no, 14. Cool. Are you inside my aura? Because then you'd get a 16. Oh yeah, I'm 10 feet within you. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, so you're good. good. Alright, so that was his attack. Delay 3. Where did you go? Whoops. I'm just flipping everybody over. Oh, Boulay 3 was dead, that's right. No, he's not dead. Why the hell is he on the... Okay. I thought 5 was dead. Yeah, I think I accidentally deleted the wrong token. Oh! Yeah, 3 was what an... heavily wounded, and... I don't it's weird, I, I took him off invisible, but... There we go. Okay. So he was here originally. Alright. Um... Wah. Linden. Ow. See how my mouse does in that nice? Yeah, it's great. Ouch. Oh, that, that was some hurts. Go ahead and roll me a strength or dex save, please. I'm not mean. Koa, save me. Oh. <laughs> Okay, you're good. Uh, you managed to evade getting glomped by this thing, but it does bite the crap out of you as it passes. Boulay number four. Wait. Stop skipping all my good guys. Okay. I mean, what do you mean good guys? Let's see. This one's going to go visit Erwin. <laughs> You guys want you could roll a um, 
uh, it wouldn't be nature. Either a history or a yeah, survival. That's a that's a good idea. Survival. I'd love to roll survival. Can I also roll one or no? Um, no, because you're not up above to see exactly what they're doing. Say with Erwin. Nope. Nope. I've got this, guys. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you evade the, the glomping yeah, quite well. Turns off my, uh, what's it called? Hunter's mark now. Yep. Alright, so let's look at these spell checks. Linden! So, yeah. what you know about these things is that they tend to have a very dull intellect. They don't use a lot of tactics. They don't tend to uh, necessarily run in packs. They they almost have um, like a, a cycle that's almost like a, a school of fish or something like that. They all kind of move together, but they're not really together they just kind of move you know across fields and just devour everything that they can find mm -hmm. um they don't do things like they just did basically right they they don't tend to back off they don't tend to retreat and they don't tend to really give a crap about whether they live or die so you have a, a feeling that these things are trained hmm. yeah i'll yell that really loud so everyone knows Erwin. All right, time again to. I've got three attacks. I've got two normal attacks and my haste attacks. I'm gonna swing at that four first. All right. Smash it, smash it. <laughs> Poor Rin. Uh, I'm gonna put a second level smite on that one. Rin's getting to see parts of the countryside she never would have if she had not become an adventurer. Like the and, other part. Uh, and I, I can move over to over to here and and then do my hasted attack on this guy. You could flank it with Linden because you're hasted. You've got tons of movement. Oh yeah, but this flanking give me just, just give me advantage. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> He's in better tactics than us. <laughs> hey, there you go. Nice. Ooh. You've done it. You solved the riddle of Vule 3. Nice. And then, like, with the remainder of my hasted movement, I guess I can get back to where I was. So that that thing won't start gnawing on Pell and then my turn. Okay. Ren. Oh, that's me. As you are sitting on the boule, you feel a hand grip your shoulder. Okay. And he says, this is going to cost you. Do I recognize it? It sounds like avaricious. I... Just grab his hand or Isn't his arm. Isn't supposed to be duking? No, that's Millamonk. We screwed that up for us. <laughs> I don't, we don't know who won the election. Yeah, I'll grab his you hand. Guys ran a, you guys ran him off. He was making a play for it, but you guys ran him off. Um, you chose not to go with the evil you do. Um, so, you grab his hand, mm -hmm. and he teleports you up to the surface. Okay, cool. You are still a good 80 feet away from the, the actual party, though. Do we see her pop up? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wave. I'm probably covered in, like, bullet goop. You see a, a person who is, uh, see, none of your characters are from the dry dock area, I don't think. But you may have seen silt suits before. Essentially, it's a mishmash of, like, leather and various other um, things that's designed to keep uh, the silt from the sea of silt from getting into contact with the person's body. 
Uh, there's like a respirator mask that has a bunch of different layers of uh, various, you know, uh, thicknesses of fabric and things like that um, to help you breathe. Um, basically, he looks kind of like a Jawa. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a, a, yeah, a little, a little bit like a Jawa, but uh, taller. Um, goggles and stuff. And the dogs are trying to fight. Can I give him like the warrior handshake where I clasp, clasp his like inner arm and just squeeze and like thanks. Uh, you go to do that, and he acts like he's going to do it, and then he he fixes his his hood instead. <gasps> oh, oh. <sorry. laughs> he's like a real eighty feet away. <laughs> wow. I would like that that gif of all the guys where they're like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> The party feels a wave of heat as a burn is delivered across the battlefield. I start burying myself alive again. <laughs> the baying of a lone mocha. Um, so I'm far away, right? Did that take up my action? Uh, no. It took up his action. Oh, I don't have You're my short bow! Throw it at you. <laughs> that was how Jasper broke her laptop. If I see that thing if um, you don't have it, I'm going to snap it in half. So no! I don't have any attacks. Is Pernicious around? Uh, you do not see Pernicious. Okay, I guess I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm too afraid to walk. Start running. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to Angel Power so I fly so I don't have to touch the, the land. And then I'll fly over to my <laughs> friends. You don't have to touch the land. Yep. I can only go 60 feet, though. Okay. 40 feet. But I'll, I'll tell Avarish just thank you, and then fly away and give him the middle finger. So I'm still kind of <laughs> mad at him. That's fair. Who's this boy? All right. So, so I think I can make it right there. But I'm, like, above, above so they can't get to me, because I'm afraid. Okay. And I'll wave at everybody. You guys see oh, a plume... just happened? You see, like, a, a plume of just a, a streak of red light strike the ground between uh, the two belays and Barnaby. And then an arrow comes out. Um, Barnaby and the two belays need to make deck saves. Please. One makes it twenty or something. Yeah, you're yeah, good. Yeah, twenty. Yeah. So you only take half. Sounds like a gun. He is actually just from the explosion part. So Barnaby, take eight. Okay. Two blue lays, team each. And that was from the explosion. I just want to give that part an actual shot, which will be. Was Pernicious supposed to be right in the middle of them? Yes. He is oh. above them. He's like 200 feet up. Oh, I believe at him. He's like 200 feet up. Oh, dear. I would like to not count as an ally. <laughs> <laughs> it just exploded, man. Does that change <laughs> anything? Hello, Nestra. Because I see the health bar for the Boule 6, but I don't see one for Boule 2. He's heavy. He's heavy. Yeah. And he's sort of orange. It's just okay, it's it's down over by Linden. Okay. What's Linden's fault? He was rotated. Okay. Yeah, I had spun around. Sorry. I'm not actually in hand to hand with it, so I'm just gonna Eldritch deck it deck it. Uh Bullet Six. Okay, or I'll drag my whole sheet, that works too. Those are some uh Pretty solid hits. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And... I was on... Oh, okay, it was on number six. Wait a second. Two. 
two feeling like Linden. Oh, well, thanks. Well, don't thank me just yet. These things suck. <laughs> don't thank him until he's, you know, until you see if he rolls right. a one. Okay, that's not bad. Yay. And that's my turn. All right. Healing abound. Bar Navy. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take out my sweet bar douche. Do whirlwind attack and attack all three enemies in melee range of me. There's only two. No. <laughs> Pernicious is in the sky, my dude. Oh. Yeah, he's he's 200 feet up. Okay, then I might as well attack. He, he did not he did not launch a fireball arrow from five feet above the ground. Unfortunately, I totally misread that then. So I'll just hit this dude twice. Oh, hang on. Uh, that should have plus four for the freaking cleaving enemy I've turned off accidentally. Let's see if this kills it. Yes, because uh, I killed it. I'll make one extra attack with Great Weapon Master. to flank it first, really, but it doesn't matter. Might not roll the twin. Alright. Lay two. Landed. Dead. Yep. Um. I still have... Has it been a minute? Do I still have these rocks? Pardon me? Do I? Has it been a minute? So I no, know we we were we we had stood you're there only... for a second. I didn't know if that was no. You're, than you're a in turn. Okay, um, then I'm gonna throw these rocks at this boy. Um, oh, it's still the wrong damage though. So <laughs> sorry, you just roll three d eight. If you remind me after the session, I'll. Oh, I missed though. So, you need to talk to your rocks. I know they're. I think maybe too heavy. The the rocks don't seem very aerodynamic. Perhaps. Yeah. All right. Well, that didn't yeah. work. So I'm gonna fireball it with wands. Fireball it while we're all standing around Actually, it. You could aim it so you don't get any of us. Yeah. Like that. Look at you positioning yourself. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, it is on my sheet. Yay. <laughs> Wait, was that supposed to be a deck save? Yeah. Uh fireball. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fireball does? Yeah, okay. Wait. So how are you going to fireball it without hitting anyone? It's 20 foot radius. Oh, is it 20 feet? Then oh, never mind. Yeah, do it. it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's an explosion, but like literally the way that you air. got positioned, there's no way you could hit it without hitting somebody. Okay, do you like that? Well, Linden move further down. She wants down. to hit herself. Yeah, just Linden move a little bit out of the way and then zap it. Right, because Pernicious is like in the sky. You need to get this. Yeah, for this is yeah, he's in the, the sky with diamonds. Yeah, it was just a matter of, like where you were standing. You'd blow yourself up. So, All right, there. Uh, okay, we're good there now. You go. Yes. But yeah, it's supposed my... to be a dex save. So go ahead and roll your. Where's my damage? Oh, that's my damage. <laughs> that was terrible. Holy crap! Elemental adept, please. Damn! Look at that. You you look down at the wand of fireballs and you notice that there's a tag hanging from it and it says refurbished. Oh, good. <laughs> Nothing's working today. My rock, my wand. Just throw the whole spells away. Yeah. At least it didn't say irregular. <laughs> so, Boule 6 is going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to disengage a burrow. Trace it down over. Barnaby, yeah. you can sense yeah. it going to the northeast. 
No. Uh, I can have my hand as marked that one because that's gone. But I, oh yeah, actually I could just sense it, any monstrosities in here. Okay, so northeast. That's to Fort Morning Lord, isn't it? Uh, near the bridge. Oh, okay. Oh, good job we avoided the bridge, yeah. I'll tell everyone I'd say. It's heading northeast towards the bridge. And then I point up to this bird creature. And then run my finger across my neck. <laughs> Draw a javelin. Like, you're gonna come down from there, I'm gonna have to pin you to the ground. How about we don't do what that? What language party? do you say that in? <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> Chanted this bloke before. I wish I could screenshot this and show you because I just scrolled down and he speaks Aracocra, yeah. Arin, Common, and Goblin. Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, I mean, I was gonna say, isn't his a... that explodes me? Fuck that. Wasn't his adopted dad a goblin? Indeed. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say he's well, been a person, a person enough that you might not die instantly. Second time he just... he's, he's exploded me, this bastard. He's probably working with Legion of Salt because. Oh my god. He was, he was with that guy that was disguised as him. From my perspective, like I'm thinking, this guy is the worst. He's exploded me twice. I mean, yeah, we don't we don't know these guys. Yeah, we don't. I don't know what's going on. This. So what are you gonna do? Let me uh, throw apparitions on there as well. Don't just threaten the dude badly. Let's do it. Abby, my man. I, I don't know what's going on, but like, but I don't. Barnaby's probably shouted something that sounded aggressive at the yeah. bird feature that just started. I'm going to move in front of Pell and just like hold an attack in case he tries to attack one of us that is not Barnaby because Barnaby is kind of asking for it. <laughs> All right. So, um, Avaricious, uh, he calls out after you, Ren. He says, You might want these. And he kind of holds out what appears to be a bunch of, they almost look like wind chimes. They're kind of <laughs> on metal poles. Um, but there's several of them. And they seem to be some sort of tinkerer's work. But uh, <laughs> he hands them to you. He says, these are supposed to keep the boules away. Somehow they didn't reach their destination. And I didn't even know they were common in these parts. I thought they were blink deer. <laughs> they weren't common until the Legion brought them in. I'm going to look down at the chimes and I'll go, great! What language is he saying this in, anyway? Uh, that would actually be... He speaks in Celestial. Pearl, right? Oh, he speaks Celestial. In and Celestial. Oh, hey, buddies! High five again! Oh, you missed! Oh, it's so weird. So... And, uh, Avaricious also says, I think Pernicious wants to kill your friend. Can you tell him not to have him kill my friends? Because I think Barnaby also wants to kill Pernicious. We could just let him have it out. I mean, we could, but that feels really wrong in my books. I mean, I don't really tell Pernicious to do things. He usually just does them, and then I kind of did. Uh, just this one? But it works out, because he usually does good things. At least, good things for us. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, thanks for the wind chimes. I just wasted my movement to get back here, so I think I'm going to stay for a little bit. That's fair. Hey! Oh. It's not your turn yet, shithead! Can you throw a net 200 feet? No, I know, right? I'm just throwing it. Get down it. Just ineffectually. I know they're like 15 foot range. Sorry. So, um, once these people stop fighting like babies, aka Barnaby and Perny, we need to talk. Because I owe you something. I know you do. And you owe me explanations. I don't know about that. Or I'll so. just kind of shrug and cross your arms, but also, like, just keep, like, jangling the wind chimes. Pernicious is pretty much just hovering in place with an arrow knock, just kind of watching Barnaby to see if he does anything. But he doesn't look like he's going to initiate. Well, 
What does Barnaby do? Oh, he's just gonna curse at him if he's just staying up there. Eventually, when he sees he's just a coward with a bow, disgusting. He's gonna go if it's Lyndon and ask if he's okay. <laughs> I'm fine. Would you like healed? No, I'm alright. Okay. Heal you up. Okay, you're you're far more injured than I am. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> play it off. Here, I can make a healing spirit. Just walk through it. <laughs> Trying to land. We should probably find Ray. Oh god, she's talking <laughs> to the fiend. Pernicious lands, dear Vaporicious. They're kind of keeping their distance. I like to imagine I'm just like hovering above ground because I don't want to waste my wings. Is that the one that sold the souls of a city? He doesn't look like the fiend. He's wearing a stilt suit. Oh, okay. I mean, I know. I, I'm pretty sure Erwin and myself just know he's a fiend by glancing at the dude. But okay. Uh, I guess I uh, a picture for it, but maybe I got rid of it. Anyway. He's hot. Literally. <laughs> There you go. Uh, v. He, he takes his helmet off. No. Oh, does, does the little, like, Fabio moment, which is like... V. Shakes out his hair. And lots of dramatic sparkles during this moment. Indeed. So it's still nighttime. You guys gonna finish taking your rest? Out in the middle of the field? I mean, like, we've got these two guys talking with, like, Vin about... Like important <laughs> that us can understand. So I don't know if we're gonna be vesting yet, unless Vin is vesting with those two dudes. Vin's also covered in two various amounts of liquid, and it's terrible. That should go in the quotes. But yeah, Avaricious is kind of sulking. He says, uh, "You know, because of you guys, I got ran out of the town." I did. That's not. You cannot blame that on me. Well, they're with you. Yeah, because everybody else is dead. Who killed him? A giant orc. Dude. Ulrog the Black, that one. Um, uh -oh. Wow. Yeah, pretty much I... that. The Doom Vault. Also dead. The, the Doom Vault? Yeah. Avalithay took my best friend. It's been a rough, like, week. Not gonna lie. Uh, that's understandable. Uh, my sister is currently plotting to take over the world with a huge undead army, so... Yeah, that that's also kind of our fault, I guess. My fault now, I guess. I'll just be taking the blame for everything. No, I don't believe you had much to do with it. But... I don't even know if we could have succeeded. I mean... I don't think anything can um, stop Salacious. Well, Pernicious seems to think he could, but... I mean, he's capable. He place. I'm going go to high-five Pernicious. Pernicious... But... He, he puts a wing out. Yeah! Smack! <laughs> Well, um, do either of you two want to help explain everything to my ragtag group of boys and one girl? Provided you two girls, two girls, two more girls than boys. <laughs> Shit. Avaricious, avaricious, and pernicious kind of look between each other, and uh, pernicious kind of just makes kind of. Not like a clucking sound, but almost, you know, just a very quiet, like, kind of series of clicks and quiet whistles. And uh, Avaricious says, Pernicious uh, says that uh, we'll, we could come talk with you, provided that uh, you put a muzzle on the bugbear. I wish. Trust me. <laughs> I'll just make sure that I'll just stay in between both of you. 
That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Think. Thanks for saving my life. I guess. Again. Yeah. Well, we checked out the bridge, and there's a pretty good sized Legion outpost there. It's being run by some sort of ranger who has a a knack for taming beasts, monsters. Oh, oh good. People. Don't don't tell. No, we should tell that to Barnaby. Good motivation, but I didn't hear it. <laughs> okay. Um. Great. I'm glad we avoided that. Hate the fact that I got eaten today. But hi guys, and I'll turn and wave at everybody else. Morty or Barnaby? Yeah. We have a few problems. Uh, okay. I'm Only never taking watches again. <laughs> Two. Deal. I'm covered in so much boule, spit, and acid. And three, there's a huge Legion assault base on a bridge, and the boules are from there. Okay. And are you going to introduce us to your. These are my friends. friends. They're from my old living adventuring party non-living this is avi and perny avi saved my life because i was inside of a boulet's stomach they're going to help oh i have these two and i shake the chimes again they help bring the boulets away okay. keep them away he says they're supposed to be deposited around the base of this hill apparently there's some sort of small enclave of uh, spellcasters that live over there, he kind of points in the general direction of all the buzzards. Uh, oh. Oh, no. I wouldn't believe anything he says, but there's something to the northeast of here. That's where the bullet was headed. Also, the, the, the bridge has a legion assault outpost. It's run by an evil ranger. So, like Barnaby. But worse. <laughs> okay. I doubt that. He may actually know um, <laughs> ranger facts. <laughs> Maybe but Cash is working. Where is Cash anyway? In Barnaby's chest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to discuss. Oh. <laughs> this one needs to Oh, so what are we going to do? Are we going to go around it or are we going to charge through them? We already went past the bridge, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, we've got to destroy the assault, maybe whoever's in charge here knows something about them. Maybe if he's a uh, higher up, like Rin's... Ugh, I, we can't trust these guys, actually. Screw that. But he's probably dealt with a devil of some description. Or a demon, even. If he's in charge of a base, he's one of the Legion of Salt members we're going to have to destroy if we're going to save the souls of Rin, Linden, and Garen and myself. My soul is fine. It's not. Well, okay, so like, do you want just do you want us to keep resting here and then move on the base in the morning then? Well, I don't know how intelligent the bullets are. They 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 attacked us here and one's returned, so we can easily report that we're here. You killed them, right? Yeah. No one. I mean, you do have that thing next. You have that thing that keeps them away, but one of them did. Oh away. yeah, Barnaby. What about that head that was supposed to warn us when there's danger? I don't know. It's weird. I thought he would call out, but I guess he's the spirit's not settled into the head or something. I don't. What? What? what I don't like your tone. <laughs> it's gonna help, okay? <laughs> also, this bird creature needs to apologize to me for exploding me twice. Curtis just, just kind of looks at you, looks at the wind chimes, and spits on the ground. I think that's his Jeez. form of apology. All right, Abby. Roll for me a, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know exactly what he's indicating. I, I don't, though. <laughs> no, you don't. But I got Barnaby 25. Okay. He doesn't say anything, though. Um, but he does oh, take... Oh, jeez. Barnaby, no! Well, he does take that. a cube out of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
He takes a cube about the size of a fist out of uh, one of the, the pockets of his little suit, and uh, he sets it on the ground, and this erupts from it. Oh, that's fancy. Can I have that after? My boy does. Oh. He flips you off as he goes inside. <laughs> Wait, per Pernicious or Avi? Pernicious was actually the one that has that. Oh, who flipped me off? Oh, Pernicious did. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Whatever you ask, you can have it. He's like, no. <laughs> These are the hell's wrong with you? And this is a trap. Look, I can prove it's not a trap, okay? What, you Besides... go in there and then get Linden eaten by a tower again? Yeah, I don't know if I want to go in any strange houses anymore. You don't have a good record for this, is all I'm saying. I mean, if it's a choice cool, between Cool, I'm going to trap then, since apparently I'm not if... trusted either. And I can you leave those wind chimes out here, though? Or throw them on the ground. Thanks. Oh, okay. I mean, there's a choice between like, staying out here with the bullets and maybe the Legion or going into the creepy tower. I mean, I guess I'll stay with everyone else. I mean, you guys can go. I think Linden and Burnaby are both staying out, but if you guys want to go in, go ahead. We're not going to stop you. What do you say, pal? I've been burnt once before, going into a tower or Linden Well. Well, Adistra, with that insight, you're just not sure. They're not immediately attacking, so, I mean, they are a step above being... Legion Assault members, so... I mean, that's about the best case I can make. Yeah, I mean, just, just from what little bit you've seen, <laughs> you'd imagine that the Legion Assault would not be friends with these people. They're pretty blatantly using magic of various sorts. Some of it even infernal. Um, but, uh, Rin, do you go in? Oh, yeah, no, Rin, like, kicked the door in. Okay. So, within like 20 minutes or so, um, you guys who are outside, uh, you're kind of shivering in the cold and, you know, curled up in your bed rolls and stuff. Uh, whatever you planted the wind chimes around, by the way, um, you, what you notice is that while they do react to the wind, obviously, um, it's a series of like little uh, boxes and little chimes that, that just kind of bump up against them. Um, but there are times whenever there's like, you would imagine it's probably from the vibrations in the ground, but the, uh, the actual poles respond by vibrating. And whenever they vibrate, the chimes and the boxes strike very, very rapidly. And soon after one of them starts vibrating, it'll kind of slowly, gradually, you know, calm down. And then another one does, you know, another one goes off. But they don't seem to attack you for the rest. Cool. I like these chimes. Um, yeah, they look like they were... They don't seem to be magical or anything like that, but they look like they were made by some kind of... Uh, you would guess some kind of gnome, probably. Um, but meanwhile, within the tower, uh, within about 20 minutes, you guys can smell uh, the, the scent of grilling meat. And uh, they aren't exactly in a party mood, but they, they have a pretty good spread up there. And Rin, you are invited to eat if you wish. Yeah, I took the bag before. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> she abandoned Not, her not her giving Barnaby the short bow, whether or not yeah, I have it. all of my stuff. <laughs> I will definitely eat their food, because... Yeah, you... Okay, so, from... Okay, I need a timeline here. Hmm. For Rin's mental health. So... This has all been within, like, a couple weeks, like, from Orog killing Gravewalker, and then all going to the Doom Vault, and um, then everyone dying, and then Doom Vault, and then Reyna, right? More like a month, but yeah, because you okay, travel yeah, quite a distance. It's been a terrible month. Okay. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty terrible Raina's going Reyna's going to hold up a finger to Avi and be like, alcohol? Uh, yeah, actually, I can... But if they let her, she will bring out meat for the others. Yeah. No, and, be like, yeah. and be like, yeah, it's warm in there, and there's food and drinks. It looked like pretty much pernicious, like, had gotten a deer uh, earlier in the day. Um, he just kind of 
it's kind of weird. It almost looks like he regurgitates it out, but he's basically pulling it out of a bag of holding that he has, that, you know, hanging around his neck. Oh. But he's pulling it out of his suit, so it just kind of looked like he was just kind of vomiting up an entire deer carcass. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's fresh grilled deer meat and lots of booze and a warm fire and no boulets to eat you. <laughs> There's actually a hot bath in there. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's a... Bryn just runs back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pernicious and avaricious are, are definitely vampires. <laughs> it's but, so uh, nice in there. <laughs> no! Yeah, avaricious and pernicious, they don't really speak much. Uh, they speak more to each other than they do. Um, but both of them just, they just appear to be kind of not exactly unhappy, but they're pretty somber. You know, it's like, you could definitely, roll me an insight check, actually. Do I get advantage because he is a fiend? Yes, actually, you would. Oh, pretty Hang oh, on a second, okay. let me see what Greg wants. Oh, a natural tornado. <laughs> You've done it. Wow. All right. So with that insight, um, you can very easily tell there is an empty chair at the table. And, uh, you know, they kind of have a place set on it and stuff. Basically, oh. you get the impression that they really miss their sister. You know, it's like she's completely evil and horrible and a bad person, but she was still their family, you know? Really sad. Rin won't sit there. <laughs> but, um, but can I try to persuade the others to come into the house? I mean, you could do so in character. Oh, <laughs> I, I nice. won't be mean to make you roll it. Because <laughs> there's a bath <laughs> with bubbles. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm all for this, but, like, I need to stay here to protect people, and unless people want to go in, <coughs> I shall stay. Just trust nature's bounty more than a fiend in his weird town. Avarice just kind of appears in the doorway, and he's just, like, holding a bottle of wine, and he takes a swig from it, and he says, uh, if it helps at all, I give you my word in hell's name. <laughs> That no harm will come to you. Friend nods. Oh, is it? Do you do it how if a fiend speaks, uh, if a devil speaks a lie, they instantly die, or no? They don't instantly die, but they don't do it. Like in hell, reputation is very important, and like for a devil to lie indicates weakness. Generally, mm -hmm. I mean, there are devils that can, and there are devils that do. But um, generally speaking, if a devil gives you his word, he's going to follow it. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. are equally order and evil. I was trying to take the bottle. Nah, it's just that means a lot. I'm still like, nah, I still hate you. Unless anyone else wants to go in now. Now he said that, I kind of, I'm alright going in if everyone else in the party wants to. It's all. Yeah, he hands her in the bottle and goes on back to go to sleep. Like, pretty much they just leave the door unlocked. They don't really care if you guys go there or not. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sleep outside. Okay. I'm going to sleep on a bed, which I haven't done in a month. So you managed to get a long rest, but I am going to say that it's a little bit later in the day whenever you guys actually get moved. Yeah, it was a rough night. Uh, when Avaracious... Probably like 9 or 10 a.m. whenever you guys wake up. Wakes up. Can I ask him what he wants? <sighs> he says, I want to get the book away from my sister. And whether that means harming her or not, it needs to happen. For her sake and for the sake of everyone else. Oh, I, I know what the book can do. Yeah, apparently so does she. Cool. 
Well, I mean, I'm more I, than I haven't been back to dry dock, um, but I managed to send a few devils in, you know, just to check things out for me. And from what I can tell, there is a massive storm that just thunders through the desert at her will. Yeah, she's kind of magic-y. Yeah. I'm more than willing to help, but I don't think... I don't know what these people will do. Well, I mean, I'm willing to... If you can try to help me help convince them, or... Well, what what is your what are you doing? What is your objective? Maybe we can help each other. But a bird does get lots of money. Destroy the Legion of Salt in the process, I guess. You're trying to go after the Legion of Salt? Someone wants us to. We were kind of in hell for a little bit. Who wants you to? Uh someone. If it helps, I need to check for the name as well. It's, not it's real. Ariel. It's all right. Brenda. It's Ariel, yeah. Yeah. It's someone important who is kind of friends of my guardian. Huh. So. Pointy horns. Big. So you made a deal with someone to get out of hell? Is that is that what I'm getting from this? I mean, I personally didn't make a deal, but yes. I see. Um, her name begins with a. I say the letter Z in Infernal. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if he knows. But apparently, that's the letter Z in Infernal. Nope, neither of them have any idea. Uh, he just kind of shrugs and says, well, I mean, if you made a deal, you... he says, uh, going after the Legion is a dangerous thing to do. They're starting to get pretty ambitious in their aims. Apparently. But, uh... It's, it's sorry. I'm not a good liar. He says... If we'd be willing to help you out, maybe we could get you information. Um, I mean, Pernicious is one of the best scouts in the realms. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to, to get the layout of a installation or something like that, I'm pretty sure that we could help you out in that respect. I would happily fight alongside you, but I'm trying to gather allies of my own, right? But we could help you deal with uh, with an installation or two if you would be willing to, to come with us to dry dock whenever the time comes to help with Salacious. I mean, like I said before, I am all for that. It's kind of my whole shtick of killing undead and things. But we just need to talk to it out there. But if you're willing to help us, I'm sure they won't have a problem. Alright. And I can probably attempt to pay you. You don't need to pay me. Okay. We, we just have to talk to them. Alright. Yeah, Avaricious, he's just like, no, we don't need gold. We're quits. No, I don't, Barnaby. We, we practically print the stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ren will open the door and be like, we need to have a meeting. A meeting of the minds. We need a meeting. I have uh, information. Uh, and what? bacon. Okay. Pernicious actually comes from um, the kitchen area in the tower, and he has a whole tray of what appear to be cakes that are covered in seeds. <laughs> There's cake, Lyndon. There's like pretty much like a think like a poppy seed muffin. 
and he just kind of he sets him down on the table and just takes his wings and just kind of ever so subtly wafts <laughs> it out of the door, trying to lure people in. <laughs> the cake is alive. <laughs> That's true because it's a muffin. Oh gods. There's nothing sacred anymore, not even cakes. <laughs> oh wait. Truly this is a broken world. <laughs> it's the worst timeline. Alright, I'll, <laughs> I'll hear the I'll hear I wave. speak, but Alright. Say your piece. Um, God. I'm just gonna go with what Lindon says. And then you go and go in. She might be AFK. Oh. Well, either way, he'll have the conversation. Right. Yeah, okay. I'll try Glendon in. <laughs> um. He says, uh. Oh. oh. <laughs> lost somebody. <laughs> Hello, Thea. Still can't hear. Is that someone else? Uh, computer for a sec. Hmm. And then I just poison everybody with my mutagen. And seed cakes. Mm-hmm. Knew it. <laughs> All right. These seed cakes have eyeballs in them. I mean. So. Um, I'm hoping she could at least listen, but if not, we, I'll just tell her again later. Um, Avarice, as he says, uh, have any of you ever been to the city of Dry Dock? Raise this hand. Nope. I've been there. He says, well, it, it was the jewel desert of Inca. Um, a place where the Sea of Silt was scavenged, um, to find rare treasures and magical items and such. And uh, at one point in time, Pernicious and I here were the adopted children of one of the trade prints, uh, a goblin by the name of Quid. And he chose children who showed promise. He took Pernicious because Pernicious was of a very rare breed of creature in Aarakocra. Uh, he chose me because kind of rough finger. Am morning. I fixed? Yes. Yes. Hey, <laughs> I had to restart Discord. Okay. Um it says uh, you know, the the quid he chose his, his children based on our potential. Uh, he chose pernicious because pernicious is an Aarakocra, which are very rare these days. Most of them fell during the sundering. And uh his natural ability to fly and other tendencies proved capable for the, the sort of work that he needed. He chose me because of my devilish heritage. And uh, of course our, our sister Salacious he chose because of her natural ability to harm. And mm. the three of us served as his enforcers. Those who did not pay what they were owed uh, to our father we would deal with would either take their property or in some cases we would hurt and kill people wait a, uh, this a, hmm? a goblin did this a lasher are you serious <laughs> they don't have the ambition He's, he just smiles a bit and says he wasn't exactly a common sort of goblin what a uh, high goblin come on it's ridiculous this this tall and he had you three running a turn. Whenever the Sundering happened, uh, the city that was dry dock, it used to be a fishing village. It was right on the coast. And uh, Quid's uh, tribe used to harass adventurers and fishermen and such that would get through there. And uh, whenever the Sundering happened, most of the humans were dead, while the goblins who were underground continued to multiply. And whenever they came out, they ended up taking over. And 
they fashioned themselves a little city. I mean, we, at one point in time, we were trading with cities all over the continent. Um, we held our games. Uh, we had the, the yearly games, and then, of course, we had monthly games in between. But uh, the games were various types of races, and combats, and drinking contests, and things of that nature. And people would come from all over to bet and participate in the games. It was actually quite nice for several decades. But <laughs> Rin's former compatriots managed to acquire a tome that once belonged to Vecna. And this tome apparently was one of his first spell books. We were sent to uh, retrieve some stolen property that they had taken from us. And when we acquired this property, namely the book, our sister turned on all of us and ran away with it. She returned to Dry Dock, and she began to invoke the magics that were contained within the book, which resulted in the Sea of Silt regurgitating just piles of undead into the city, who proceeded to run amok. And... At the time, Rin's group was trying to help contain the uh, undead, but they weren't enough to push him back. So I called upon favors down below to try to get us a, a larger army with to combat these undead. And Rin's group decided to abandon the city, which resulted in things going awry. But at this point, from what I understand, there are some still there are still survivors within Dry Dock. They're being protected by the devils. But these same devils are also offering these people deals. And people are getting more and more desperate to escape. And what's what's to ask for a father's soul if it is to guarantee safety for his family? We tried so, to save as many as we could. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is now, Salacious has nearly used up all the resources in the desert. And from what I understand, I don't know when you passed over the desert most recently, but it seems as though the desert is expanding. She's trying to perform some sort of grand invocation of magic, and it seems to be drawing the life force out of the surrounding I don't know when it'll stop. I don't know if it will ever stop. But I do know that she needs to be put down in some fashion. The book needs to be taken from her. Her magic needs to be ended. Um, I love my sister dearly. And I understand her desire to take revenge on the people who molded us into weapons come. But this has gone far beyond any kind of revenge. And I was asking Rin about the possibility of enlisting the aid of you all. Kind of looking around at you. So he's not quite sure what to make of you, but at this point, he just he seems fairly desperate. But I was hoping to, to gain your aid. In exchange, uh, Pernicious and myself would be willing to help you with scouting ahead as, as dealing with your legion of salt problems that you've taken upon yourself. Any questions? We are, of course, willing to discuss terms. What is she? Is she tellish like you? You said she was charming. No. She belongs to a, a very ancient race called the Wan Ti. Wan Tai. What that is, but I do, but I don't know what that is. Maybe I do. I don't know. They're like Probably, uh, history people. check. Yeah, they're good. snakes. I know they're snake people. Now I don't know what they are. <laughs> he says they're they're just the descendants of a, a god of serpents from ago, specifically a a serpent of night. And Not good. 
as a result of that, she has certain traits and abilities that make her extremely charming. Uh, Quid, what he would do is he would choose children like us, and he would have us raised and honed in whatever respect he wished. But this... For me, he wanted someone who was capable of controlling the minds of others. For Pernicious, he wanted someone who was capable of dispatching foes from a distance. And Salacious, she is a torturer, a killer, assassin. She is death. And now she has back the spell book. I don't know. I still feel like you're in the wrong. She's not forcing like the people that you, you, that you, avaricious, are in the wrong. She's not forcing these people to make deals with devils, is she? They just you can't it. force someone to make a deal with the devil. Pardon? But you can put them into a yeah into a you situation. can't force someone yeah I know. yeah you can put them into a bad situation. And those people are in an extremely bad situation. <clears throat> Why haven't you killed her yet? There's two of you. I know you love her, but there's two of you and one of her. How can Have we you? be able to neutralize her yet? Just because she's got this spell book? She'd see us coming from a mile away. Oh, that is a good point. Uh, the Legion is being ran by a cult in service to Asmodeus. I mean, we're not, we're not exactly the most sneaky people around either. He looks at Pelanistra and says, You're sure of this? Asmodeus, Lord of the Ninth. Yeah. He just kind of rubs his brow a bit and he says, That does complicate them. I mean, I have no love for Asmodeus, but. And while I may look like a devil, I am only half. In some respects, I am bound by their laws, but in others, I am not one of them. I'm not part of the hierarchy, thankfully. But that is quite an enemy you are making if you're trying to put a stop to Asmodeus. Barnaby, with that insight, you can tell that he legitimately does not know much about his actual status in hell. Yeah. Thinking, oh, I don't know about my status, and I'm separate from it. I'm like, come on, he's working for a promotion. <laughs> no, actually, you get the impression that he is not. He has very little interest in hell whatsoever. Okay. Yeah. However, Jess or uh, Rin, I don't think you've ever seen him without his kit on before. Um, uh, yeah, I've seen his face because remember, I tried to kiss him. Oh, that's right. That's yes. right. Well, no, he was shape changed at the time. Remember? Uh, don't ruin this for me. He was an old man <laughs> that you were trying to seduce. No, he he shifted. Oh yeah, no, he's kept this thing. He's just this guy as an old man, which we named Cliff. Yes, yes, he was Cliff at the time. Yeah. Um, okay. But roll for me an Arcana check with your advantage. I'm so great at Arcana checks. Oh, I'm so great at Arcana. Holy shit. <laughs> Tell me okay. everything. So, Ren, um, there's a few things about Avaricious that kind of draw your attention. Uh, but just looking at the way that, um, like, the devilish features that he portrays and, and things of that nature, um, you believe that he is probably a descendant of an arch devil. Oh, shit. In fact, because you got a natural 20... I will actually give this to you. Um, you remember that uh, whenever um, he had invoked the uh, devils in Dry Dock, the symbol that he used to summon them was one of the names of Mamone. <laughs> so putting that together, you realize that he is probably unknowingly a descendant of Momo. Uh, yeah, as they're talking, we'll just look back at Avi 
and she looked down and then her eyes just grow really wide like oh no <laughs> cuz yeah he's never really like nobody ever really asked him, uh heritage or anything before it's like i don't know you know and it's like you just kind of like and Mimosa the arch devil of greed right yes yeah, no. Well, I okay. Yeah, I know what he's like. Um, previous campaign, but now I'm just like, oh no, oh no. She won't say anything though. She'll just be staring at him with really big eyes. Okay. So, hmm. never mind. No, nope. Ring goes to talk and then just shuts up. Like so. Hmm. Avaricious looks to you, pal, and he says, I'll be honest, my attitude regarding the Legion is that the people who have given them this amount of power that they have deserve what they're getting. But if Asmodeus is involved in it, then clearly they aren't playing fair. And if that's the case, then something should be done to balance that out. He says, so far as the Legion outpost nearby, I mean, we didn't really stop to study it, but Pernicious did a flyover, and he saw a few things, if you'd like to know. Please. He says, well, first of all, they've deforested the uh, area, which has resulted in them having clear sight lines for close to a mile in just about every direction. Uh, they have built their fort out of uh, the timber that they've taken. Um, it's quite thick, dense wood, but it's wood. Um, let's see what else. The uh, man in charge, he is a minotaur, and he is a ranger. I don't know too much about him except for the fact that he has one eye, and he has a penchant for taming beasts of various sorts. Whenever Pernicious flew over, he saw several ogres. Uh, he saw a few um, of the boulets that were in the midst of being trained. Uh, whenever they're they're being trained, he actually keeps them in a steel. Uh, he essentially builds a steel box under the ground, fills it with dirt, and it gives the boulet enough room to grow, but doesn't let them. Um, and then just puts a lid on it until they are able to uh, properly handle commands. Well, that doesn't seem very nice. What else would he have seen from the sky? No, we have to free the boot. It, see, it no, seems to be stocked with a... They have a, a full platoon there. Um, the one thing that I noticed that there are, is that there are no elves in his uh, company whatsoever. Almost every single one of them is either a half orc or some sort of goblinoid. Mm -hmm. I think first we need to take down that command structure, interrogate this Minotaur, tear secrets from him about exactly the Legion's connection to the devils or demons or anything. Uh, well, maybe we can know. send um, Pernicious to try to scout more of like the layout of the place if he feels comfortable with it. Or just kind of nods. Um, and that way we're just not rushing in blind. Because if he's taming beasts or monstrosities, then that kind of is a damper and everything we try to plan. We just need to cover our sin and fight smarter. If we're going to go up against the Legion again, they, that bomb they used that stopped us from speaking, You, if you would, Rin need to create uh, some sort of potion or brine thing we can carry around so that we're not I don't, at such a disadvantage I, the next time. I, I would need to get supplies for that. I only have the supplies to help my mutagens and stuff. I know an alchemist, <laughs> but he's all the way in Bardas. Wait, does Avi know Scipio? Uh, yeah. So maybe, um... Oh, you don't have your airship anymore because he kind of destroyed it. Yep. But we both. <laughs> That's why he's tooling around on the foot. 
Yeah, okay. Well, Scipio, if we if we can get to Birdus, I can get supplies. But attempt to make some sort of brine or whatever. And maybe even pick up some sending stones. So if we get another case like this, where one of us gets trapped, we have a better way of getting in contact. Okay, so supply first. Supplies. Yeah, destroy this outpost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like the idea. There's lots of things we'd need and, to take down. And hope Burdusk isn't just burnt to the ground. Avarice says, uh, well... It's probably another three days travel to get to Bird Dusk. Another three days back. You want to be back here in a week? Uh, Ren will just nod and be like, that sounds like a pretty good plan. Should we meet on this hill again? Will it be safe? Mm. Yes, let's just walk into the middle of the shark field. <laughs> I closed the map. Whoops. I don't want it back up, though. So. We probably don't want to meet too close to the bridge, but we could meet at the river side. We we have we have way Lyndon, you have ways of sending like a signal, right? Hmm. I don't think so. Can you like do like some skywriting action? <laughs> For everyone to see? Like, yo, Abby. <laughs> Secret meeting spot with an arrow pointing down. <laughs> no legion allowed. We'll, we'll 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 figure out a way to um send a signal. I feel like we might. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. I'll meet you on the edge of the forest of worms here at the riverside. So like right there. Don't worry, you guys. I'm writing this down. Says we'll be there in a week. If you're not back after three more days, we'll probably take off. Can we give it like a week and a couple of days? That's, That's why I said if you're not there after three days. <laughs> Do our best, I guess. He says that that would give us time to to try to do a proper infiltration. It's a lot easier I mean, when we had Salacious with us because we could send her first, but. Yeah, I mean, Val's a bard, but she's not like the salacious stab a needle in your eye and then wink at you type of bard. Pell's a yeah. cleric, Rin. Come on, let's go to Birdusk. <laughs> 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 All right. So Pernicious sends you with a pillowcase full of seed cakes. Yay! I have <laughs> rations again! <laughs> oh, Avi, one last thing. Avaricious fiend. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call him by his name. Uh, it's something I have for you, and I'm going to give him the shards of the, <laughs> the nightmare. Oh, I forgot about that! I'm really upset of... Uh, what's your Barnaby? Uh, that's what happens. That's what I do to fiends, and then walk off. <laughs> he says, thanks, gorilla. Wow. Okay, I guess I'm a gorilla. Gorillas are cool. Thank you. To be <laughs> fair, bears look kind of like a they do look like gorillas. I also take out my two figurines wonders powers and be like, these are still in fix. These are still fixed. Okay. This one's a dog. Nikwa. No! <laughs> Fuck you! No, they're Barnaby. mine! Okay. No. Let me have my 12 magical items. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. So. We are going to fast forward because you're not that far from the tradeway again. Nope, we need to RP every minute. <laughs> what I want you guys to do. Just hours of walking. Is there is, is anyone trying to do anything in particular while you are traveling? Well, I can just make my... move stealthily while traveling at normal pace to the rest of the party so I could be scanning ahead 60 feet. Okay. And keep pulling back. Just do you know where you're going? Things. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't not. If you tell them the direction and stuff, yeah. Yeah, just say southeast of here, and I'll be like, okay. Ren doesn't know directions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mostly just making um, mutagens whenever I rest. Yeah, but with Outlander and Ranger, if, if I've glanced at any map ever in the world, ever, which I'm sure there must have been one in some part of Dalford, oh. I, I know the area. And Before we go. Can I ask Avi if he's been to Birdesk recently? 
or around that area, like Virtus Greenest? No, actually, I was up north. Okay, so you probably don't have any um, hint at how Smiling Sun's doing. That's good. Yeah, I don't. I didn't intend to stay in bad rep. Okay. I mean, he's I basically a, a magic repo man. <laughs> to Burdusk! So I want all of you to roll me percentile. Go, oh, Thea, you did it. I know. How did you do that? Uh, magic. I'm Scotty Boy. Slash Gorilla. <laughs> yeah, your new name is Barnaby the Gorilla. I'm just gonna change it to Gorilla. Barnaby. Yeah. Roll me a perception check. Oh, shit. We're scouting. This is what I'm gonna roll at. I'm to... It's gonna be about a day and a half in your trap. <laughs> okay, you're back on the you're back on the tradeway at this point. I'll use inspiration to do it. Advantage, which I don't have. <laughs> All right. So as you're about to uh, to crest the hill going up the road, you hear the the sound of uh, several horses and carts coming your way. Okay, I'll run back for the rest of the group. So off the road, or we sit in ambush. There's horses and carts. Do I get any better look? Or I just hear horses and carts. No idea if does it sound like soldiers or merchants. Or no idea with only a sixteen. It sounded like probably half a dozen horses. Okay. And two cars. Okay, so it's probably a Legion Assault Patrol. I, that's what I'm guessing. I'm going to head back to the rest of the group and explain to them. I heard. Let's hide! A dozen. We're hiding, yeah, but I'm going to set up near the road in an ambush position, put a spike growth beneath them, or Lyndon can put a million thorns underneath them and then tear them to shreds. Why do we need to fight them? Because they're Legion of Salt and they're going to be passing messages back and forth if we. It just serves us to do so. Maybe they're replenishing the garrison at the bridge we're going to take down in a week. It's 12 people we can get the drop on now rather than in a week's time have to fight. Is my reason. As you guys are discussing it, Crest. And they seem very, very brightly colored. Um. Like, they're painted all sorts of various hues of orange and blue and pink and red. And uh, you can see that um, one of them is being driven by a guy in, like, a, a long gray coat and uh, broad-brimmed hat. And sitting beside him is a very sweet-looking old lady. And uh, the second cart has uh, another lady that is... Um, I don't want to say she's large, but she is half orc. But she is a half orc old lady, and she's driving the wagon. And um, sitting next to her is what appears to be a small human child, about ten years old. Does the child look scared or anything? Roll me an insight. She seems slightly distant, dazed. Lyndon, do you think we should stop these people, talk to them, ambush them, or let them pass? Um, I'm down for hiding, okay. but if you want to talk to them, I would say maybe we should just not Let's attack right away. So it seems like, are they under like some sort of spell, maybe? Um, roll me an arcana check. <laughs> I think it's best if Rin speaks to them, if she's been in Birdusk first. I'll stay hidden, because I'm just gonna freak them out, I'm sure. She's just kind of staring off into the distance and stuff. She just looks kind of glazed over a little bit. Like she's either really bored or something else is up. Okay. So you want me to just jump out into the middle of the road and be like, hello! I do. It always works out for you. I'll stay here. Also, tell them you're a duke. 
<laughs> no, I'm not telling them I'm a duke, but I guess I will step out. And hope I don't get hit by their cart. <laughs> I was gonna say, how close are you? Can I just like whistle for it? Like step out to the side of the road and just like do a whistle? Yeah. So you're not stepping in the path of the wagon stuff? No. Okay. <laughs> I could about a stealth all ninja. Whack! <laughs> get hit by a wagon. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the guy that's driving the, the cart, he just kind of tips his hat to you, continues plodding along. No, stop. I'm lost. <laughs> he says, you're on the tradeway. North is Boris Gear Bridge. South is Burdusk. Uh, are you coming from Burdusk? No. But you're coming from South. Yes. Is is that your kid? Your point at the the kid in the second wagon? Oh, I thought they're on the same wagon. No, there's two different wagons. Oh, you should be careful when you're heading towards the bridge. There's been a lot of weird monstrosities lately. Um, one of them ate me. You seem to have recovered quite nicely. Uh, the mental scars are still there. <laughs> the old lady, she kind of leans forward and looks at you and she says, Oh, you poor dear. She says, uh, here. And she offers you a candy. I will put it in my pocket. <laughs> You have gained one mint. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, be, be careful going that way. Is that your kid, ma'am? She says, no, no. We've, we're just taking care of... You cut out. She says, no, no. Afraid that they, they lost their parents. Oh, taking that... care of orphans. Oh, that's terrible. Where are mm -hmm. you bringing her? We're taking her back home. Where's your home? To the north. Where? It's uh before you get to Boriskir. Are there any towns when you before you get to Boriskir? There are no towns. What? So are you just dropping her off in like the middle of a forest? No, we have a house out there. Oh, and what's your name? She says, "What's yours, dear?" My name is Cut Robin. Should have thought of that. <laughs> Robin. Roll me deception. What a coincidence. That's my name too. <laughs> she, nods to the driver and she nods to the driver and he just kind of taps the reins and they start moving again. Wait, no, 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 no. Where's your house? Maybe I can come visit sometime. <laughs> I what? don't know. We don't tend to take too many visitors. Bye! Palinestra! <laughs> Alright. That was oh point. That's the least song. Point is weird, like, all of us are hiding. It just Pell pokes her head up. <laughs> the rest of us are still <laughs> hiding. Maybe Bar- I go back in the bushes and be like, Barnaby! Yeah. <laughs> They're weird. Yeah, yes, so? Stop them! <laughs> I think you might have been a little weird up there, too, just, honestly. I don't talk to people! You just told I me to tell. stop them, Rin. Do you really want that? Because you know They're already they... going. Do you want me to stop them? Just Do let you... them go. I don't trust the old lady. So, but I didn't insight I, check her. It's not our business. I doubt she trusts you. If a child's in danger, it kind of is. Have you ever heard yourself speak? Have you ever, like... <laughs> I know you haven't had a conversation with yourself ever, but do you ever? Can you put yourself in the shoes of someone else having a crack? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a casual slash at my armor. I'm like, okay, but <laughs> but this isn't how you conduct a conversation. Let's just go to bed. Did you find anything? Listen. Out? Yeah. Uh, they're heading to their little hut by Burrasco Bridge. And they're coming from south and they have a child that's been orphaned. 
but the child looked like it was under some sort of spell. So they're probably going to eat her, so congrats. What? Where did you get that one? Why would they eat her? I don't know! I feel like that's a bit of a jump. <laughs> Were they Legion of Salt sympathizers or anything like that? Did you find out any, if they are from a merchant guild or what organization they were from? They were on two carts. They were on two carts. And yeah, the girl's name that. was Robin. Okay. I mean, was it? I <laughs> <laughs> just runs. So, you talked to them. What did you find out that we didn't find out looking at them? That they have a house somewhere, maybe? Yeah, they have a house up north. They have a little hut. I asked if I could come visit, but they're like, no! Because yeah, you're a stranger on the road. <laughs> I'm not that you're scary looking, am the I? The of stranger danger. You're terrified. <laughs> You've got I'm scars so all over your body where you bloodlet. Let's go to Burdusk. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why I don't talk to people. No, it shows. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, next hey. time you talk to people. <laughs> I think Pell should be the one that talks. Or Pell. Maybe Pell can, you know, not appear as an elf. Crazy. I'm not... Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, um. <laughs> All I put in my nose from that encounter was old lady weird. Well said, I try, I try not to be. You are a horse. I had a there. bath for once. <laughs> you sure did. I'm gonna burn us, and I kick a rock. <laughs> You are quite shiny and fresh. Mm. So, you guys been getting traveling down the road again. I would like from Arnaby. Yeah. Since you are leading the group, correct? Yeah, that's going to be ahead of the group, but run backwards because the whole range of nonsense where you can do that. <laughs> I know. Roll for me an intelligence saving throw. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> Am I going to die? I'm definitely not within however many feet of urban. That's a five. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, brain comes off. Okay. Did they get the drop off? So you're, you're following the road. Yeah. And um, it kind of starts curving up a little bit. And you're you're moving up this hill. And after about a mile or so, you're you're up fairly high. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're still surrounded by forests and stuff. And as you take a step, there is but empty air. Roll for me a dexterity save. I don't know if I'd really gone a mile ahead of the group, but 23 anyway. No, no, you're not a mile ahead. You're only like feet ahead. Oh, okay, just a minute. All right. You managed to not step off of the cliff as suddenly the illusion disappears. And you realize that you've been traveling pretty much just directly up a ridge to a cliff. Like you weren't climbing, it was just a steady incline. But as like your memory kind of goes back over the previous minute, all you remember was the road going, you know, graded up slightly and being surrounded by forest. And all of a sudden, you're just standing on the, the edge of a very craggy cliff and just have almost stepped off. Okay. Was it out of character? Was it fiend that cast this on me? It was not a fiend. Okay. It's just sort of advantage and weird shit like that. Probably an old lady. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop where I am. Uh, look around. Can I see the group from where I am? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're right behind you. You imagine they probably would have walked off right after you. I turn around and ask them if they they felt a similar illusion or something. Else. Say the experience I just had, like, I I was mislaid, which I, shouldn't happen. Yeah, do we see a cliff or do we see road? As he tells you what he sees, everybody roll me an intelligence saving throw with advantage. Good job, yeah. guys! <laughs> yeah, nice you guys cliff. all see the cliff. Well, that's a cliff. Something's I'm starting to... Us, and I don't know what it is. Maybe... Like... Okay, no, this is gonna sound really dumb and probably a waste of a certain Blood Hunter ability. Can I take out the candy she gave me and cast Grim Psychometry on it? <laughs> you can indeed. How long does that take? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll spend a minute and do uh, primeval awareness while I'm here as well. Just to... uh, it, I had to make a wisdom check. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Does the wisdom check to see how accurate it is, or what? Uh, uh Grim psychometry. Do do do. When you reach ninth level, you can take ten minutes to meditate on an object to discern big details regarding any lingering evil or wicked past surrounding it. Make a wisdom ability check. Based on the result, the DM may reveal obscure information about dark events that may have previously surrounded the object or hints towards a sinister purpose. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to change that ability ever so slightly. You rolled a 10 on your wisdom check. Okay. You can either have very, very vague details, or you can have more vivid details, but it will have an effect on you. Do I know what sort of effect? No. You know what? Just for fun, let's do that right now. Okay. <laughs> so, you see this mint leaving your hand as time is almost moving backward. You see the mint leave your hand and go into the old lady's hand. It then goes into a purse. Time passes. It's just dark. You know, or, well, not purse, a pouch. But time passes. It's very, very dark. And all of a sudden, you see the same mint coming out of this purse, along with several others, going into a bowl, like kind of going upwards into this bowl. And as the, the time continues to rewind, you realize that there are many ingredients in this mint, including your standard mint oil. you got your sugar. you got a little bit of cornstarch. And you have what appears to be finely ground baby teeth. <laughs> and as it goes even farther back... You see this old lady with a mortar and pestle crushing teeth into it. <laughs> Maybe she was going to eat them. <laughs> As you go a little bit further back, you see this same tooth falling out of the mouth of a child that has been recently killed. And after that, we're just going to have it fade out. I'm going to turn. What's my effect first? The effect that it has on you is you immediately, as soon as you realize what's in start vomiting and you just break into a cold sweat and you actually have moments like you feel an ache in your jaw where that tooth would have been okay, okay that's, that's fair i'm gonna turn to the others after puking everywhere and be like i was right fuck that old lady <laughs> this has baby teeth in it we need to go right now She's eating children. I was right. Does anybody eat the mint? No. Okay. Just checking. What is it, Barnaby? I can't click the link. He wants me to commune with nature. Just ask oh. That went past. I don't know if that would help. You could definitely okay. try. You want to do the commune with nature thing? I went past. Maybe I don't know if True would actually freaking know anything. <laughs> Just look at that spell. No, never mind. Oh, she's gonna eat that child. I was right. But you didn't tell us that at all. I just told you what I saw, and I assumed she was going to eat the child. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> it was an old lady taking care of an orphan. Obviously. She's going to eat her. <laughs> she had a weird vibe, okay? I just saw her ripping a tooth out of a dead child and grinding it up and making mints out of it. Okay. I throw the mint on the ground. I'm just like, Ugh. Are you going to try the commuting thing, or...? I mean, sure. I do. All right. Okay. So I gained three facts of my choice about any of the following subjects. Terrain, bodies of water... Plants, minerals, animals, people, celestials, fey, fiends. Oh my goodness, so many things. What would you like yeah. to ask about? Um, well, I feel like I should ask about... You could ask if there's a shack to the, the building to the north of it. It's 300 feet. Oh no, it's three miles. Oh, maybe it's too short, actually, my bad. Three miles is pretty, sh pretty short. What are tags? Are they feeding? Right, how far are we from the bridge at this point? You guys have traveled to about here. Like, you are back on the road proper. Mm -hmm. So you're about there. 
And for the sake of it, I'm going to say that you can see the Forest of Worms in there. What is the scale on this map? Pretty ridiculous, but I'm I'm okay with playing with it if it helps the story. In other words, I'll let you, I'll let your commune with nature work. If you want to okay, use. so yeah, I want to know about buildings. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess. She's a fiend. You could say if any. I don't know what hags are they fang. I don't know if she's a hag or she's just a weird half orc that eats people. Probably a hag. But yeah, you can ask about if there's been any hags fae traveling through here. What about influence from other planes of existence? <laughs> like you think that would be relevant at all? Maybe. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. You could maybe ask about uh, the, the bodies of water. You could say if there's, while we're here, if there's like a water entrance to that um, to fort we're going to be attacking. Oh yeah. You can ask about any fae, so, because I'm pretty sure it's a hag. And that's a fake creature. Buildings and then You can ask about the fort as well, I suppose. And influence from other planes. It does work as well, because it could be like an Asmodeus influence around here for miles. Yeah, that's what I was thinking that maybe it's mm -hmm. got lots of influences. Let's start with buildings. Okay. So for buildings, you find out that there is a cabin in the forest. Um, uh, there. Um, you know, it's it's a couple of miles away, uh, and you also find out that there is um, what appears to be an old mine shaft that is pretty near to it. Hmm. Two more. Um. So I, do I get to know about anything if it's like the Celestial Fae Fiends, that one? I know about I any of those the, things? You have to pick one. Because it says uh -huh. you only get like three things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you got to choose which three. So you got two more. Yeah, but one of the things is you can pick either buildings or bodies of water or Celestial Fae Fiends, elementals, and undead. Yeah, that's what, like, all those are grouped together. Oh. I should probably link oh, it to so you, actually, though. Yeah, just link me the spell real quick, if you would. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's probably on my Discord, I suppose. I, just I think this is the first time I've seen this one cast in I know, it's position. just I think it, this would be useful here, because we're mm -hmm. in nature, in <laughs> yeah. the forest. This happened recently, we can ask. Uh, and Lyndon is amazing with nature. Better than you. I mean, I imagine that Lyndon's just trolls him out occasionally. It's like, yeah, no, I can speak with this tree. And he's like, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to a babbling yeah. brook or some, or some crap as well. See, hmm. cool. it says powerful celestial spay fiends elementals. Doesn't say and. Or oh, undead. Oh, yeah, I suppose. So you could ask about any of those types. So if she was a hag, what would she be? A fey. If it was a fiend, I would have known. It's, uh, yeah, yeah you, you're you already a fiend way. already. Yeah, let's do fey. Alright. So hags what it tells you... Fey? Almost sure mournfully... Fey. Almost mournfully, the wind tells you of a uh, powerful fey in the region and her sisters. Uh, there is a, uh, they're they're known as the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Hmm. All right. And they are a uh, trio of hags that that were expelled from the Feywild. You're not sure why. They don't know why, but it happened right around the time of the Sundering, and ever since then, they have been roving around, killing families, taking children, grinding them up to make various different flowery, tasty treats that they then eat. Hmm. All right, well, I think I may have something, guys. Okay, 
Looks like it. <laughs> Just go really? out the terrain or the plants, I suppose. If <clears throat> I don't know. Um, Any animals? I, like, you can say other. I kind of want. I kind of want to know about influence from other planes of existence. Um, you could tell that the three hags have been existing in the forest long. They have started to have an effect on it. Hmm. It has taken on certain fey traits. Such as causing people to get lost and walk themselves into suicide situations. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so that. I knew she was weird. So, I think we may be lost. Also, um, Rin was right. Which doesn't happen all the time. But this time, we'll <laughs> give it to her. No, I, I you guys... Wrong. You guys initially thought you were on the tradeway. You are actually right about here. Right on the edge of this large uh, cliff. I'm cool. still like, cool. like, like burying uh -oh. my helmet. I do love killing fairies. Don't worry, guys. Was it, so it was the maiden, the mother, and the crone? Mm hmm. Okay, just making sure my notes are correct. Aunt Covens of which is incredibly powerful. I think so. Maybe we can convince Abby. Either Arcana or uh, just Arcana, actually. Anybody that wants to. No, we can take them. We're not going to be back in time for the whole avaricious and uh, pernicious freaking thing, though, if we do this. I mean, I guess we don't need supplies. We don't. It'll just be helpful. I mean, you can still go and it'll take you a couple of days, but yeah. <laughs> You don't imagine a kid would last that long. Yeah, um, I, I, I don't care about sending stones. No. Pelinistra and Rin, both of you know that hags tend to congregate in groups because they're, it makes their magic more powerful. Um, Pelinistra, you know that three is a magic number. Hmm. And, and that multiples of such numbers tend to be even a greater power boost. Sure, Right, what can they do, pal? Essentially, it enables them to uh, cast spells as though they were higher level, and sometimes to access higher level spells that they would normally be able to cast on their own. Okay, I need to prepare anti-magical things, which we can do. The Legion of Salt did. Yeah. We know some of their methods. Not <laughs> excuse me. But we know, I mean, if we could grab one of those bombs they had to silence them. Oh, the legions. I thought you meant the hags. No, I'm thinking we can just we go into. Um, I don't know, it's tricky because, I mean. Fight hags with hag tactics. Okay, how about we. we we'll, we'll come back to Burdusk. I'd rather save the kid. Okay, I mean, it's one child. I'd rather us go in prepared than save one child. I'm sorry. And then we can get rid of the hag influence, and the forest will be a better place, and we won't walk we off can do of that cliffs. Once we have tons of anti magical potions and scrolls with the amount of money you've hoarded in Burdusk. Um, that's my money, and I'm not going to give it to you if this You're... child dies. I mean, I don't want it. I'm thinking we use it to get what we need to kill these hags without dying in the process, and in doing so, save hundreds of children. This one, just bigger picture. It's it's a coven of hags. We need anti magic. Yeah, but crap. this is also the only time the avaricious will help us with the legion assault, which is what you've been going on about. It's not the only time he said he'd help us. We have a week. I don't even want his help. Okay, let's go and kill these hags then. We have a week to meet them back there. Yeah. We met them back there and said, hey, we have to kill some hags. Do you think that they would, you know, maybe give us a day or two? Probably. Come with us and help? Maybe. It's not too far out of your way either. It's not yeah. three days travel separately anyways. I'm just thinking Burdusk first, then the hags, just because I don't want to go and fight some hags unprepared, because we will all die. Oh, 
potion of invulnerable to magic, which I'm sure they've got in Bird Desk. <coughs> or we could all just stand near Erwin and be fine. That's how that works, right? I mean, you could try to. Erwin, you could take on three hags, right? I'll stay here. No. Mm. No. He could probably smite two up and down in one turn. Yeah. Okay, Rune, let's go and kill them then. Well, yeah, let's go to Bird Esk. <laughs> you guys just both gave in to each other at the same time. <laughs> rock, rock, paper, scissors for actually, Lyndon's deciding about Lyndon. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take one more five minute break. <laughs> you guys can figure out what you're going to do. It's just, bags are bad. They're spooky. Yeah. All right. It's back on the thing. Hello, we're back. However, <laughs> we're leaving. Right. Yes, we have a couple <laughs> of players that need to go. Um, so they are going to discuss what they want to do as far as going to Bird Dusk or the Witch's Hut. If you have a, an idea for what they should do, feel free to drop in on our Discord and tell them yourself. Give them hell. I do it all the time. It's pretty fun. Um, other than that. We have Shatterpoint coming up in about an hour and 40. And uh, we will see you then. Uh, Good see. night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Nice. Bye. 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 I've seen how long I can keep the pause going. <laughs> the, the happy delay. <laughs>